Damos Day. All creatures require charge ratings. Welcome to Kingdom of Aldana. But our progress is as slow as my internet today. And I get two jokes for the price of one. For the same reasons. <laughs> two, two good ones. Anyway, <laughs> previously. <laughs> You have finally teleported into the Nerestein Castle teleportation room in your mission to kidnap the children of the Mother of Dragons. Yet it seems the room itself is already oh, occupied right. as a relatively large green dragon greets you moments after your teleportation. Now, let us move to the map. Black. And you should see yourselves at the bottom of the map. I think I forgot somebody. No, it hasn't loaded. Map load. Yes. Alright. I'm not sure why I can see Zardos's charges, but I can. Uh, oh yeah, we still have editing rights for his token. I can still move him. All right. Fuck off. All right. But yeah. Um, as the teleportation spell fades, and you all find yourselves in a rather. Um, A small and not that well illuminated room. You find the dragon rearing its large head and growling. Finally, intruders. As I would like. Everybody to roll for initiative. Wait, we can talk this out. I mean, oh, you're welcome to, to check do what... that on your relative turns. Uh, I hope what's this works. Dex bonus as a dragon. Bonus? Dex bonus, not dig bonus. <laughs> Well, that's important. Yeah. Bonus too. I th <laughs> Very good. Sir. I think Very it's good. like tiny creatures have a d4, medium creatures have a d6, and I am frozen again. I'm still yep. 11. Ancient Brass Dragon. Oh, it's a straight roll for me. Oh, wow. Um, let's roll a straight d20. Ooh. Am I, with a bonus of plus zero, I'm still the first one yes. to go? Yes, you rolled pretty well. Congratulations. <laughs> ah, my action is going to be so unexciting. <laughs> um, what do you think, I think? Does this one have legendary one resources? Second. Uh, we have EOS yeah. 15. I'm not sure how old is it. Uh, we've got Zardos 12. I go eleven, Arles eight, Melora four, Dragon with an unidentified uh, thingy, and another thingy, and as well. Oh wow! Uh, Give yourself that hero feast. Okay, so without further ado, the dragon rises to its legs, gives you all a coy look, and breathes heavily, expelling a thick green cloud that covers the whole room 
and considering the enclosed space and lack of any kind of ventilation obscures the whole room for the duration. You find yourself in, well, without any sight, breathing pleasantly tickling poison gas as you hear that being intruders, the defenses of Crescent Castle teleportation room were not deactivated, meaning they currently consider you the enemy. As the four large scorpions you glimpsed after the teleportation simultaneously discharge in your direction, and I would like everybody to make a dexterity saving throw. Y'all get a plus six. You do. Sixteen. I am going to use lucky. Alrighty. Feels good playing without music. Ooh, maybe a shield. Alright, what do we have? Uh, we have uh, twenty-six. Mm -hmm. Uh, guys, can you hear me? I mean, I can. I can turn it off with a button. So, oh. so as long as I, I just, it's easier to not forget. Oh, this is fun. It's very fun. Dan is frozen. Save Only your me. camera. We, we can hear you. Yeah, it's constantly right, freezing. I could hear you just now. But the cam is not going. Oh, there we go. Nope. Yeah. Wait, yeah. Yeah. Can you hear me? Yes. Yeah. I occasionally have like yes. five second ping, so. Uh, yeah. And couldn't roll 20. I wish I had a solution for this. I don't know. Alright, well. Don't um, so, what do we have? Uh, a lot from Trigger, a lot from Arliss. Uh, 26 from Melora, 16 from Leos, and uh, 13 from Zardos, uh, which means that everybody except Zardos saves. Which means that Zardos takes 33 points of prison damage, which, while everybody else takes 16. Can I use this to not take? Oh, yes. Yes, you can. Uh, it's... And, uh, it's the third point. I may use my reaction to... I did tell you that you may, but... Roll, zero. Uh... Uh, question. How much was the... The uh, points. Did we? Okay. So I'm at three hundred ten. And mine. I think Dan is. Frozen. Yeah. Can you really hear us, bad. Dan? <laughs> Can you say something? Uh, uh,
Nah, All that. right. Okay, let's hope that this lasts and we can keep on playing. Switch back to the map. All right, so yeah. Uh, after the dragon has roared and filled the room with green poison that you don't care about, the security scorpions have shot, uh, peppering you with arrows, and everybody but the Zardos, the slowest of the bunch, has managed to dodge uh, those uh, shots with Strike blocking them completely with his shield, which I have told you and I didn't hear, obviously. And the damage was 33 for Zardos and 16 for everybody else. Or well, 0 for Dragon. Uh, and uh, with this, uh, you hear more stuff because you are all slow pokes as the animated armors that were standing on guard. I have a feeling. Uh, yeah, I mean, if if statues don't look like the background, they most likely gonna come alive <laughs> as uh, those statues walk, walk off of their pedestals. And on. Hindered by their lack of vision, for they don't have eyes to begin with, they proceed to advance towards their nearest targets and bash them, well, more like slash them, with their long swords. Uh, I don't believe any of you have blindsight. I don't yeah, I just picked that up. Yeah, which means that you guys uh, are technically blinded uh, for now, for the duration. Uh, uh, I have blindsight. Do you keep it in your human form? Ooh, that, that was what, what I wanted to ask. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, think so. so. No, I don't think so. I think you turn into a human. Um, I only retain proficiencies, legendary resistances. So none of you. Okay. Uh, which basically means yeah, they do mind. it with advantage. So Zardos, you've got two friends because you have a lot of hit points. I can hit you a lot. Oh wow! Uh, Seventeen to hit, which means a twenty to hit. Merits. Uh, so that's one attack for the first guy. Twenty-five to hit, and sixteen to hit for the second guy. So two attacks from. Uh, them and then have shield and armor, so that means you take oh wow, that's good rolls a total of 22 uh, damage from those two attacks. Oh, damn! Now on Trego, uh, 25 to hit and 24 to hit it's exactly misses. Oh, oh, right, because you're made it now uh, for six points of damage, uh, and are less uh, 22 and 22. A uh, total of 20. Damn, uh, Leo's 14 and 19. Um, well, I don't maintain my AC, nope. right? That means yes. Uh, your AC right now is basically 10 because you're a commoner. You have 10 dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, those hit for a total of 14 points of damage. And the Semilora is the last one. Uh, 20 and uh, 16. The uh, 20 hits. For 8 point of damage. Uh, Alright. So, uh, although you hear the statues approaching can go alright, of course. Uh, the billowing fog has produced enough disruption that the first assault upon you is relatively successful. They think you're bleeding more than you would have preferred. Nonetheless, uh, now you have time to do things as Leos, it is your turn. Um, the, currently, I don't see shit, right? Uh, you currently don't see shit, yes. Uh, so I don't see the dude next to me, I don't see Arliss next to me, so I'm. You are just aware gonna... of their presence, you just don't see them. Okay. Could I turn into my ancient dragon form with my action? I... Yeah, can. Uh, it yes, it would require me an action to transform back. Yes, you can. As I go and grab a token. Thing. I would just probably push some people somewhere. Actually, you don't get a cool token because it's gone. You get a shit. <laughs> 
<تصفيق> واو ورود جيت السوبر شيت يا كات توكن I'm gonna move myself somewhere in the corner. Alright, you should at least be able to move it now. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, yeah, now question. What happens to all the people in my space? Uh, the people in your space Can they stay get there? shafted. Okay, I so it's a, I think my origin would be like th this, but I, it's really up to you there how many go. people yeah. I would push. Okay. Um, uh, I will say to the uh, dragon in Draconic, we have returned and we will tear you down. As I just... Look at him with my blind sight. <laughs> <laughs> and Flap that's my. Uh, uh, my pain. So um, my pain intimidation check. Just for lols. Uh, sure. Oh, what's what's my bonus on on that? Sorry, I need to move my sheet to it's another good. screen. It's plus four. Uh, it's a plus. Fuck. Plus four only. Um. So. D20, sorry, I haven't set up anything. It's a, it's an 11. This is like, we have, <clears throat> we have returned. <laughs> 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 All right. Well, uh, you hear the cloud programmation from Leos, although it doesn't seem to do much. Uh, for now, for now, for now. Who knows? Maybe he yeah, is really scared. That's also all I can do. Yes. I don't have uh, Moving on, Zardas, things. it is your turn. You're still a coward in building green fog, but you are definitely aware of your ally's presence. Also, what are you concentrating on? Invisibility. Oh, right. Oh. Also, invisibility. Mm. Well, you should have told me that when I was attacking you. I wouldn't have helped I mean, against blind yeah, side, yeah. but yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't think it really matters. Oh, yeah, you're all your constitution saves. Okay. Fine. Uh, yeah, all right. What do you think? Okay. I will. I guess strike back at these guys that hit me. Go for it. And they both did hit you. Once each. <laughs> if I remember correctly. I think so. Mm. And by the way, yes. Is this at disadvantage? Uh, yes. It's going to go so well. Yep. This and you way and something to my internet. Let's turn the music on because it's really freaky. Good without it. All right. Uh, so, um, uh, yeah. I mean, nice you hit three times his shield. Yep. Uh, I think you went for the wrong skill tree. By the way, I checked today. You had, uh, you didn't put all your skill points uh, after your respect. So yeah, I do need you to finalize that before we go on any further. Anyway, anything else you want to do on your turn? Uh, I was trying to find where I put. No. Okay. Uh, just that last attack. Oh. That's it. Uh, 15. No, still a miss. All right. Well, at least you had a good laugh before we started the fight. Trega, it is your turn. Please do not disappoint me. Uh, well, I am attacking with disadvantage, but 
Uh, I will. You'll trigger. Yeah, well, true. <laughs> I'm gonna try and shove the uh, animated uh, guard right next to right. me. Uh, roll your stuff. Uh, 31. Oh, wow. Um, like the guard needs to roll. Shit. Yeah, whatever. Uh, yeah, he's prone. Okay, uh, then I will attack him twice, so that breaks my invisibility. And it's a, just a straight roll because he's prone, I guess? Uh, yes. Good. Uh, uh, good. Well, he is indeed trigger, yes. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's, let's smite that with, uh, with, uh, let's say, like, first level spell slot. Alright, go for it. Oh wow! Yeah, your first, your very first blow strikes true as you pierce the armor of the construct, uh, finding your spear tip just like, stuck a little bit inside of its chest cavity. It they are a lot lighter than you would have imagined had their bodies inside, and they are not too structurally integral, but still it is moving up to your blow. Hmm. Okay. Um, yeah, let's attack again. Alright, straight roll. And with your second normal. blow, as you release your spear, you must have broken something inside of it that animates the creature, causing it to go inert in a pile of armor on the ground. Any skills you want to do? Uh, yes, uh... I would like to move this way. Alright. It's like rough terrain, yeah, I guess, because but... I'm stepping on him, but I can just move it down. Is it goes? Yeah, and that's my turn. Alright, Artis. It's your turn. You're stuck between a dragon and a dragon. <laughs> oh. Not quite, but. So dragon and a wall. Oh, oh by the way, um, those uh, scorpions and like those beads on the side are like 30 feet above their balconies. And you assume like there would, be, would have been soldiers on it normally, but right now you see no humans. And there is a portcullis leading out of the room. It is currently closed. Let me quickly read this spell. Mm. Oh. Okay, um <laughs> So that's Um, God damn it, why does it keep bugging out? Um, how do I want to do this? Uh, not yet. Fifteen. Another 30. Okay, I'll start painting. I'm going to be casting Wall of Ice here as I point my stuff mm. towards the creature next to me. Um. I'm not sure if it's rolling or not. Is it? Nope. No, no. Roll again? No, it's coming. I guess I need to roll manually here. What's with this new roll twenty thing? I don't know. It's a bad dice, but I can roll an additional d6 because <laughs> I have a great level 18 feature. Uh, look at that, an additional 2 damage on that. Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, let me start painting. Next same 
Let's throw for the dragon first. Okay, I think that should. This is um, the wall I am envisioning <laughs> to draw through all of their spaces. Okay. And if I need to, like, um, use up the rest of the space, I am just gonna, like, uh, go. How much do I have left, honestly? Like, 15, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 50. I have plenty left, so whatever. I'll just like I can go up. go around myself. I'll just like hit this boy here too. You know, freeze myself in here with him, have some fun with him. As they all get to make the deck safe. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, the dragon makes it. Oh damn. Yeah. Uh, DC twenty. Yeah. What the fuck. Means he takes some 70 hit points. The other boys, I they're gonna be making anything. Oh, one, one of them made it. They have like a plus zero, right? These people? Yeah. Probably. So. It's like, should do it. It's the call. And. Oh. 34 for everybody else. Alright, yeah. You wave your stuff and conjure a glacial wall that, if I understand correctly, your intention uh, blocks the exit from this room and locks yes. the dragon in here with you. As yes. well as kinda. I mean, it's only 10 feet high. Maybe he can get above it, but it's going to be annoying for him. Mm, it's going to be I like think. this. I don't, know how, I don't know how high this room These is. These guys so. are going to get pushed out there, and the dragon's going to get pushed like here, and the dragon. All right. Yeah. And uh, what's the what about the guy below me here? All oh, right, him as well. Uh, in which direction does he get pushed? I mean, there's nowhere to go except for below. OK, that's good by me. This way, I am a safe boy. Um, then I don't need to use my bonus action for what I wanted to use it for. I will just say to um, get rid of this fucking cloud, and uh, that'll be the end of my turn. All right, Melora. I want to try and cast Control Winds to get rid of the poison gas. Um. I have. No I'm idea not sure if it'll how work. Spell but... works so well. Yeah, that's. I think I don't know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, I mean, sure, you can cast the thing away, yeah. Or even just use downdraft to, or updraft to just move it up or down. Yeah, yeah, sure. You basically, like, your option are, yeah, like, blow it all up, blow it all down, or, like, just move it away out of the room. I'm reading updraft, I'm looking to see... Because it's a hundred foot cube, so that basically would cover most of this room. It covers the whole right? room because the room is like forty foot tall. Like it's forty, 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 basically. Yeah. It's a cube. Can I do? Hmm. Would if I did gust, would that push the gas to the? outside to the space of the room and push the creatures away like the two soldier guys away from me uh it doesn't affect creatures i mean it like as you can see well the gust well if i did updraft it might because no, no, it says no, 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 creatures no. that end no it doesn't no they fall only yeah. if they fall okay so yeah it doesn't matter so yeah just updraft to get rid of the um of the um poison gas and i will do a bonus action thunder step to get away from them once i can see isn't thunder step an action 
It's my chosen bonus action oh. for my dragon oh, core. Okay, sorry. Yeah. All right, cool. Uh, so yeah, yeah, you cast, uh, except you've cast a spell as an action, oh, which yeah. still means you can't cast another spell as a bonus action, if I remember correctly. I thought. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay, my fault. Well. Yeah, I can't. I can't move because they'll get an attack of opportunity, and I might lose the win. So yeah, I'll stay. All right. In that case, you create the wind that lifts all of the poison from the ground and gathers it, floating like five feet at the top of the room, uh, not affecting any of you. Uh, it is the end of your turn. It is the start of a new round. Uh, with the dragon going first, who? observes his domain, notices a distinct lack of effect from the poison. You see him glance to the side at the wall, which kind of constricts his options, uh, causing him to roar. And I would say attempt to frighten all of you, except you don't care. <laughs> We're not locked in here with you. Yeah. You're locked in here with us. And in despair, he goes out to unleash his multi attack upon the most vulnerable creature in his reach, which is Arlos. Uh, so straight rolls. Uh, 24. As he uh, goes to clump on you, clump on you. Yeah, yeah, I don't it. Right. So that's eleven uh, points. Shield. Oh, yeah. sure. Shield. Uh, right. Well, in that case, that glances of the shield, and that you've got a claw for twenty-five. Yeah, but it's. Didn't you just shield it? Oh, it still hits. Twenty-five. Right. Yeah. Uh, is the yeah, right and then his second claw bounces off your shield, but his first claw hits you for certain points of slashing damage. Uh, oh yeah. Yes, don't attack Treggle. It's a great idea to attack people next to Treggle. Yeah, can I sentinel? Uh, oh yes, yes, now you can because no poison. Uh, 25, 25 hits for 16 points of damage. And now, uh, with the ballistas discharged, we return to our uh, local helm horrors who will continue the program as uh, possible. Uh, so one of them is gonna go at Zardos. Munya, Munya, 24 and 14, both miss. Uh, two of them, no, one of them is gonna go with Melora. A uh, 15 and 7. I think both miss. Nope. And yep, they both two missed. of them go at uh, Leos. Uh, one of them misses completely. The second one scratches your scales a little bit. Well, this round is a lot less fun for them. And the last one will start breaking through the ice wall because he has no great ideas. And he actually hits it twice because it was what's the save the wall like 15? Uh, 13, 12. I think. Yeah. And he definitely hits it. And he deals 20 points of yes. damage to this. Yes. It still stands. This thing, yeah. Okay, uh, I will mark it as a Alright. And at the end of their turn, the dragon is gonna use his legendary action to uh, slap Zardos with a tail. I'll at least try to. Uh, tail, 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 tail. Uh, nope. That's just very low. Okay, okay. And then we go to Dios. I wonder. Oh, yeah. Um, does this dragon look hurt? Uh, no. 
Fire breath. Uh... It is a 90 foot line that is 10 feet wide. The question is, I I couldn't do this without hitting Trego or Zardos, yes. right? Yes. Hmm. Well, this is disappointing. Do it. Do it. I can take it. Yeah, I, I, rem I remember that you once hit me with something. Oh, this is not a oof. I'm gonna uh, do a multi-attack against the dragon. <laughs> um, ah, this uh, is Which is... Roll d20 plus... Uh, 14 to hit. No. So, that's a 29 to hit. 25... And 24. Oh, that's what you're talking about. Yes, those numbers do hit. Okay, so that's 2d10 plus 8 for the first one. There's um, usually fire or some sort of de elemental damage on your bite. Uh, no, there isn't. Mm, I guess it's only for mm. chromatics. Uh, so that's 15 points of damage and the claws are 2d6. Uh, yeah, okay, 43 points of damage in total. Nice. Nice. All right, yeah, uh, you unleash your fury on the dragon, which proves to be a lot more successful than the dragon's attack upon you. And by the way, you're no longer invisible, that's for sure. Yes. Um, anything else you want to do? Uh, oh, yeah. Um, no, I'm in a bad spot. All right. Uh, the dragon is going to retaliate against you with his tail. Zardos is magically protected, which does nothing because it's only 16 to hit. Wow, nice. Uh, Zardos, this is your turn. Uh, <clears throat> I think I will go and focus on this dragon. Uh, well, no, I'll take care of this armor first. Just get out of my way. Come on, Oops, guys. Yeah. Yeah. You don't have this advantage, right? Yeah, I just got to turn it off. All right, yeah, 30 hits, that's for sure. Uh, 10. Still standing. No, it's an armor. You're punching holes in it. It's not very effective. Well, finally, you punch a hole in the right place. After your third strike, the creature collapses in the Cluster of armor. Are you sure that's for the dragon? Yes. Mm, that actually hits. Nice. Alright. Uh, good. 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 Anything else you want to do? Well, that's it. Alright. The dragon is going to use his third legendary action to throw another one uh, hello, slap in your direction Zardes, and this one kind of catches you at the moment as you're retreating from your attack with the 30 to hit I don't think you can shield that <laughs> uh, as no. you are slapped for a measly 9 points of damage because I rolled really well you're like oh no okay <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, well, um, that was the last thing my dragon is gonna do ever uh, because, Trek, it is your turn. <laughs> I would like Rage to try and shove him, but I would like to use a dragon core feat for that because I'm guessing he sucks at dexterity. Uh, maybe. I don't know. Uh, what do I do? Uh, so it's a DC 19 dexterity save to not be knocked prone. That's a 22. He's Damn. not knocked prone. He is not knocked prone. No, and I can't really move anywhere, so yeah, I'm nope. just gonna smack him. You are stuck between a dragon and a dragon. <laughs> yes, I am thoroughly stuck. Which in some cultures is considered to be lucky, unless one dragon is chromatic. <laughs> Alright, well, uh, you go back to what you do best, stab people with your spear, and 21 does stab. 
And now the dragon starts to look hurt, actually, as you draw first blood, I guess. And second blood as well. I rolled one in both of the rolls, mm -hmm. of the damage rolls. That sucks. Wow. Welcome to the cloud. Any skills you want to do? Uh, I, can't, I can't move in, like, this direction I can't move, right? Nope. And move in through Leos's difficult terrain. Yes. And possible attack over here in chat. Yeah, I know. I'm just staying here, I guess. <laughs> Why is oh, the yeah, question, okay. man? You're a paladin! What do you mean, tactical retreat? Let's start a new vocabulary! No, he, he, he meant getting out of the way, out of my breath. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and also trying to save Melora. Ah, uh, Melora's good. Alright, uh, well, uh, back to Arles, uh, who is in his little tiny cabby hole with a... It's, it's pleasant here. Yeah, it is. I would like to use my it's action pretty cool. to get... It's cool. need... Yes, it's pretty cool. <laughs> to get Nidala out from the bag of holding ah, okay. and then like some movement to get on top of her and then to start rising up, you know? Okay. You gotta rise up. All right. How, how tall is this room? 40 uh, 40 feet, feet, yeah. Said? And the balcony is at 30 feet high. Okay, I will, since it'll probably like take me 15. Right? Okay, five, okay. Uh, then the thing itself has plenty. I will rise to like 30 feet height. And um, as soon as I am up there. Yeah, I'm sure you people can take it, right? And the wall doesn't. Do that much in here. Um, if I look around up here, does this place have many ex exits up here? Um, I'm not sure if you height? can see. Like, you should be able to see it. Yeah, uh, you see uh, one door over here and one door over here. But they're also like so small that this dragon will have a hard time. In this shape, you're not sure how the dragon got in here. Okay. Good. I mean, there's a teleportation circle, obviously, but... Uh, still, risky business. But it doesn't know about Trego, so it should be fine. Um, I will drop concentration on the Wall of Ice. Oh, okay. Just like... Does it disappear? It. Yes, mm -hmm. it instantly disappears. And I will quicken... A beautiful, beautiful spell that dragons love. Did you create? So much. No. Earthbind. <laughs> uh... DC 20 strength save. Please tell me his natural role. It only affects his flying speed. I know. Strength, 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 strength. Uh, seven. Seven? Okay, uh, no. He can... I mean, he's gonna use his engine action to succeed. Attraction Good. resistance. That was the in that was was the intent of this. Yes. All right. Anything else you want to do? Um, no, I think I've used action, bonus action, and movement, so I am done. Ars is like nine out of ten dragons approve of this spell. Melora, <laughs> it is your turn. The wall of ice is gone, and you are still surrounded. Already. Um. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna cast Shillelagh and clobber the guy right below me. Okay, well, you definitely hit him. He barely notices it. Oh god, where is it? It's been a while since I think this is the right one. Mm. <clears throat> oh, oh, one's the spell. Okay, never mind. I'm sorry, I'm so used to... Well, in any case, the 31 hit. And I think you should use your spell version because it has a correct modifier. Because it should have plus 12, not plus 11. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, in any case, yeah, you clobber him for a little bit of damage. You leave a dent in his helmet. It doesn't seem to do much. Alright, um... If I moved over here, would Leos still be within 
consider 10 feet for her thunder step? Uh, yes. Yeah, he would. Damn it. Oh, no. Leaves is over in the corner. It's right now. <laughs> uh, do you actually move there? Yeah, she walks. She just does her regular movement to uh, go over as there. As you do, the dragon swipes at you with his claws. He's within range? You left his range. Oh, I thought his... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Okay. But it is only 15 to hit, so you await it by hair's breath, if I remember correctly. By marriage's blessing. Yeah. Oh, oh, right. Yeah. I was like, why? Oh, yes. 15 plus 2. And all that. Uh, if you have your action, yeah. Yeah, I do. And oh, you nice. miss as well. You're like, you, you want to slap the arm that reaches for your wife, but the arm is no longer Nobody there. Nobody tries. Yeah. Alright. Uh, any skills, Milana? Or more like? Oh, yeah. Actually, I'm not sure you can do it. Because... She technically can if I want to do Thunder Step, but I don't know. Didn't you attack? Yeah, oh yeah, okay. Thank and you, I'm sorry, I'm still... And as a bonus action. Yeah, okay, I hate that. I'm trying to hit the info button to close it, and it does the description. Yeah, I'm good. Alright. Uh, well, uh, uh, top of initiative. Uh, the dragon looks at all of you. You hear... Zoom! As where Dragon was, there is now a young green-haired elf who is out of Trigger's reach because of the displacement. Who? I mean, Trigger doesn't have a reaction. Well, I mean, that was yeah, that. I, I actually he didn't make a token. Would get so an opportunity attack from me, maybe, if he moves. Uh, maybe. I have a reach of 15 feet. Well, if he, if he leaves it, then yeah. Yeah. But you have it with your tail, right? Uh, no, bite is 15 feet and uh, tail is 20 feet. Oh, right, because uh, you're range. super big. All right, yeah. yeah. And uh, turns and runs up to the portcullis. Yeah, I wanna. And you see him like swipe something on the room next to the portcullis, which opens and he steps inside. Uh, attack first. Can I attack well, first? Because he... when he moves here, that would trigger my opportunity attack. Yeah. I don't think you stop him, though. Like, even if you do. No, that. like, I'm trying to remember. I mean, I think, like, if you have multiple ranges, you can trigger an opportunity attack whenever he leaves eyes of your ranges, so. I don't know. Yes. Well. Go for it. Okay, then. Um. Then... I'd say you'd have an opportunity attack with the with the chosen weapon when Ooh. he leaves the weapon. No. Hey. Uh, I no, oh, you already I already said no. I would have I would have made something different, but you yeah. were quick. Uh, I mean I was as usual, you were slow. <laughs> uh, is it is it in humanoid form? Yes. He is in humanoid form, yeah. So that still hits, right? In humanoid uh, no. form? He doesn't have his normal AC. Uh, you have no idea how my dragon transformation magic works. Okay. Oh. It is not the same as Leo's transformation magic. Apparently, yes. If uh, you... well, then... well, actually, I don't remember if you any remember you dragon's fight with the transformed green dragon. But yeah. Anyway. So, yeah. I got... He <laughs> sleeps under your claw or whatever you use, the bite. Uh, as you misjudge the size and as he steps to the port, call it. it clutters behind him and you see him rush up the stairs and because the stairs go up you no longer can see him. Uh, but that's all he can do and the uh, armors are gonna continue what they can do uh, which is beat on people so this is for Zardus 
19 and 13. Uh, 19 hits. Alright, so that's 7 points of damage to you. And then uh, for Leo's 2 attacks, or more like 2 creatures. 18 misses, but then I've got a natural 20. That's yes. 9. Oh wow, and that's not. A 17 points of damage on the crit. And 20 and 23 to hit. Yep, two hits. 8 and 5. And one for Melora. 18 and 21 both hit with your armor for a total of 5 and 6 damage. Wow. Right, uh, yeah, uh, the armors finish their goal, and Alias, it is your turn. Uh, which of the statues looks the weakest? All of them. <laughs> okay, so none of them have been hurt at, the, at this moment? The People one to your left I, looks I... the least hurt, the others are all like iced over, basically. Okay, then I will attack the one to the right first, next to Melora. Oh, uh, 32 oh, can hit. Yeah. Uh, that is a bite for 25 points of damage. You just go and tear it in half with your bite. Your <laughs> teeth go like hot knife through butter. And uh, I can reach that one yep. here uh, within 10 feet. So two claws against that, or well, one claw first. That's a hit. 21 to hit. Yeah. Um, that is 2d6, so that's 12 right. points of damage. You rake it with your claws, heading through the armor, but not destroying it quite yet. Then 33. Yep, that hits, I think. Hopefully it does the trick. And with, with your second damage. strike, you just tear away its breastplate piece, and you just see the sparkle of magic as that disables the creature. Okay. Um, yeah, that's my turn. All right. Uh, um, yeah. I'm sorry, Dan. Real quick, I didn't hear exactly how much how much damage did I take? Up five and six. Gotcha. Okay, thank Please you. Please interrupt me in such cases because I'm a loser number. And I will okay. never remember it because I'm stupid. Uh, how does it say turn? Okay, I will step over here. Oh, she's right there at the top. Well, it, okay. you actually shouldn't be able to see him. I couldn't set up, you know, elevation on roll 20. <laughs> Not that far <gasps> Yeah, But whatever, I mean, you hear him well enough. He's just running. Okay, well, uh... We've been here before anyway, so I will... Oh, because it's... Of course it did. Um... Yeah. I will grab Traeger and the guards. Go after him. And... Dimension door. To the... I guess the exit of the stairs behind whatever... If there's another door or something... Up top, the other side of that. I mean, like you are aware of the construction of the space because you've been here many times. You know that there's yeah. another portcullis and then like a small um, landing that would exit into like the castle, basically. Okay, yeah, I'll go for the landing. All right. So because. The two of you properly cannot see it because of my wonderful Selim sponsored dynamic lighting. Sponsored <laughs> by. Uh, there you go. Now you should be able to see. As they disappear, I he scream. Moved, uh, I he moved. yeah, I know. My quietly life. saying draconic witchcraft. <laughs> All right. So, Leos, uh, no, not Leos, Zardes, that was your action. action. 
And you were basically like, yeah, turn works. around, there's the second portcullis, and she's like standing in front of it, like. <laughs> Hello. And. Where's the exit to this room? Uh, right behind Sorry. you. Well, there are actually three doors. Okay. One behind you is the exit, the other two. You're not sure, you assume they lead into like the guards' rooms, but. You haven't been there ever. Alright, uh, well, yeah, that'll be it for now. Alright. Stand here and guard, guard the door. Okay, uh, so. Um... The Helm Horrors in the room are single cell organisms, so they're gonna undergo mitosis, and there are like now 10 of them. <laughs> no, Tragus, your turn. My turn? Um, I'll stand here. Okay. How hurt does he look? Uh, he's bleeding from an appropriate places where you stabbed his dragon form. Do I want to just intimidate him to stay put and he won't die? Or I'll just chase him? I mean, there's a port coolies between you and him. Well, yeah, he can't. There's a dragon behind him. There's a trego in front of him. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't want to be in his uh... place. You know what? I'm going to try something. I have... Power War Kill? No, but pretty close. Nice. I am going to try Command. Okay. <laughs> oh yeah, good choice. Uh, so what I'm saying? Did he do it? Oh, wait, what my... do you order him to do? Uh, where's the one where he, he just falls prone and... Draw? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so cast that and command him to grovel. Alright, well, you do that, you won't know if it worked or not until his turn. Uh, Aldous, is it your turn? The what? PC is. Yeah, um... I know. Okay. I mean, he'll have to choose if he uses his. Uh, I have an approximate uses... knowledge of many things, including your spellcasting DC. Okay. I will, like,. How high is this portcullis here? Oh uh, yeah, feet? well, like seven and a half, but something like that. Okay, in that case, I am like flying. Um, since I am thirty feet up, it'll cost me like. Okay, it's basically equivalent. A little more. Okay, it'll cost me twenty-five. I'm going over here, and I only am at five feet height now. Uh, Lucas, would you like to breathe fire right now? This is this is the best opportunity <laughs> you'll ever get. Okay, yeah, straight I, down the tunnel. Um, seeing what I see up there from the bottom of the stairs, it seems pretty all right. I am going to turn around and like point two fingers at um, the two uh, beautiful stones over there, and I will twin a firebolt. All right, go for it. So against the first guy. Did it fall? Oh, there it goes. That's a miss. It blasts Against off of a shield. Guy. Yeah. Second guy, that's yeah. a hit. And yeah. You actually like melt through part of the shield and strike it on the chest, but that was a more structurally integral one, which means you take down and... Nyza. Yeah, and since. But that guy up there looks pretty locked. And if they leave, it's so risky. Do I want to get fucked on or not? <laughs> but um, Zardos can see the creature, right? So, yeah. Yes, no, in that can. case, I am going to use another, like, uh, 10 feet of movement to get up high. Uh -huh. Or, like, uh -huh. I have 15 feet left. I will go 20 up. All right. Uh, Milor, it's your turn. Can see we can see spaces between the portcullis, right? Oh uh, yes. Well, uh, how wide do they look? Uh, not wide enough for a person to go through. This wide. I'm. I mean, animal. So about mouse size. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
mouse can definitely go All through. Alright. Uh, yeah, I'll shapeshift into a mouse and dash through and jump through him. Okay. That's... I think that's your action, right? How much movement does a mouse have? Not much. I don't know if... Oh, okay, wait a minute, so we gotta see. I... Shoot, where do I find I mice? I mean... Probably a rat. Yeah. I don't think... Then you can move to it, shapeshift, and go through. Although it's gonna be pretty hard to calculate. Yeah, Red has yeah. 20. So, shoot. So um, basically your option is either you yeah. turn now and you end up there, or you go up to it, and you turn, and... Was... and It's one step further, it right? It doesn't transform, like, when you go down to lower movement speed, 5 feet will not be enough. You'll still end up right in front of it, maximum. Yeah. Um. Actually, I'll just run up to the corner then. Right. That's just twenty feet. Yeah. So yeah. I'll go through when everyone else gets ready to go through. All right. Oh uh, well. You could always try hitting that fucking thing he hit in case that actually works for us or it doesn't. If you're not transforming anyway. Um. I don't know if it works. Yeah. So. Head along the wall. It requires the eyeball of a king to open. Hmm. I could maybe try short circuiting it. I mean, you can set in a try. You know what? I'll give it a, sh a try. I'm gonna try shocking grasp on it. Alright, in a tech roll. Alright, you touch the room, you send the lightning through it. And roll me the hundred. While you do, I'm. No. Oh no! Huh. Interesting. <laughs> it's gonna bounce off and hit our list. Interesting. Interesting. Alright. Um, where was it? Just had it open. There we go. What is your roll? Nine. Um. Um. How close are you? Uh, the, the she would be right yeah. up up next to it because she has to touch uh, it. The magic of the spell interacts uh, violently with uh, the arcane energy in the room, causing uh, seven points of force damage to you, and poof, in an area around you, and destroying the room. Wait, I destroy the entire room. Rune. Oh, rune. Okay. Rune. Make sure the room too. And the whole roof of the room falls collapsing on you. Rocks fall. <laughs> and she goes. Well, that worked. Oh. <laughs> no, that's all. All right. On his turn, the dragon is gonna look right, and he's gonna like go run. Back down the stairs. So he made it? Huh? Yeah. He made the he save. Made the save. And he's gonna go fuck again. Because the door is no not opening for him. Because the room is blasted. <laughs> he's gonna go five feet back <laughs> and look like a cornered he's rat. In prison now, boy. <laughs> That's all he does. I mean technically we've already captured him. Uh the statues are gonna continue beating on the nearest creature they can reach, which is Leos. So 20, 13, natural 20, and the 16. What? So uh, 5 points of damage on the normal hit. And. shit. Alright. Oh, come on. Yeah. And 18 points on the crit. 
And that's it. Uh, it's okay. a different Uh Will Saint Draconic surrender now, dragon? And you may yet live. While I start munching on the statues next to me. Bite 29 to hit. Which one? Uh, the top nice. one. Damage? Uh, 14. That's a bad roll. That's a bad roll. Uh, it is still there. Uh, another claw attack. Alright. For. 12 points? Oh, wow. That, that's exactly as much as you need it. Oh, awesome. And then I will attack the bottom one then. With a 20 to hit. That's AC. For 12 points of damage. But you didn't kill it. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's my turn. Uh, Zardus? Okay, I will... So we just see him running up and down the stairs here. Basically, right? yeah. Okay, it's gonna. I'm just gonna have to make. Just gonna want to make this difficult, huh? Okay. So I will, because the poor call is in front of us is still yes. closed. Right? There's a similar like lock and rune next to it. And yeah. Uh, I will just. Where is it? Huh? Misty step down to him or her, whatever it is. Well, you you never ask their name. Him. Uh yeah, you can yeah. make whatever you do. And I think check. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. You're gonna try to break free, but he's shaking, so he rolls a natural one and he is grappled. <sighs> And where is it? Just give it up. Stop making us do all this. And Vampire Dragon. Oh, you know what you can do that now that he's grappled? Oh. Yes. Does a fifteen hit? Oh, that's what you're doing. Uh it doesn't hit. Grapple doesn't give advantage? Uh, no. No. Only reduces a creature's speed to zero. Yeah. So just give it up. We don't want to have to kill you. As you give him a sloppy kiss on the neck. <laughs> yeah. We'll be gentle. Oh my, does that sound quickly? <laughs> oh, please stop. <laughs> really disturb you. Yeah, you can hear his knees going. <laughs> All right, uh, and Skelsi can do? Want to do? Uh, I would try to bite him again, but I only get one of those. Yeah, you get only one of those. All right, uh, Trego, it's your turn. You just basically see that Zardus is currently uh, sexually harassing the dragon. Yeah. Um, I mean, we're still trying to burn his legendary resistance. Uh, yeah, legendary resistance. Right. Oh, wow. I think I got it. So I guess I'll, I guess I'll, uh, I guess I'll command again. Go for it. All right. I said grovel. <laughs> okay. And skills? Ah, uh, they can't hear you. I'm sorry. Uh, anything else? The Portcullis is close, so no, I'm just going to stand guard here. Right. Would you try it? What? The Portcullis. Like, does it open for us? It would be nice info. Can I switch from my side? Yes. Yeah, from all. It has to be. Like, oh, how... Okay. Uh, yeah, if I have a free item reaction, I guess I'll try and open it. I mean, you touch the room, nothing happens. Yeah, they changed all the passwords. It's, and, it's really good to know. Yeah. Yeah. If we need, if we're gonna need to cut off his hand for this, you know, it's good to know. 
Wow, alles ist hier Ähm. Um, I am going to go down. 15 feet down. Now you as well see. Oh, that's actually harassing the dragon. Yes. Um. Actually, with a little bit more details, you see that he's doing a bit more than sexually harassing the dragon. Okay, that's okay with me. Um, I am going to tell this creature in Draconic. Okay. If you surrender Why are you and running? come into this very nice thing here, and I like show him the flask as I get it out. You are going to live and see mommy again. But that's the only way you're going to live and see mommy again. Oh, uh, make me an intimidation check. God damn it, that's the only one I'm not proficient in. I am going to use Tides of Chaos. Alright. 24. Alright. Now you can't make an inside check on the same turn, so you'll have. To figure out Fine what happens. But this was yes, that was action, your action right? if you wanted to make yeah. a check. Yeah. Uh, I am, since I think back there, Elias is gonna eat that thing alive in a second, so um, I am just gonna hold it up in front of me and like look over towards uh, the elf that's standing there. Okay. Like with an eyebrow up, sort of like. Him. Coming, <laughs> and then that's the end of my turn. Would you like to also lick your lips actively? <laughs> no, like, he shows the flask. This is doom. <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. Yes. Uh, we'll add it on top. Melora, can I just creepily peek over Arliss's shoulder, and I'm just gonna incite him? <laughs> just have a creepy look on her face as she. Okay, dies. make me an inside check. All right. So, you're looking at somebody who basically like, spent half of their life at home with mother, <laughs> and now they face somebody oh. as strong or st much stronger than they are for the first of the time. Like, it looks like a f fifth grader being robbed by like two high school kids. Oh, poor baby. Except there are five kids and they look like John Cena. <laughs> <laughs> Including some of them being invisible. So, yeah, you're not sure if he's like in a correct state of mind to actually listen to orders, but he's definitely given up on life. <laughs> uh, upon getting this, her face is going to change back to normal and just look at him. She's not going to contribute anymore. <laughs> she actually feels bad. All right. Uh, top of initiative, uh, the dragon is going to uh, collapse to his knees and go, I surrender, I surrender. And just sob quietly. I'm going to assume Bravo. Say again? I'm going to assume Bravo. <laughs> no, uh, sure, yeah, maybe. maybe. Bravo. Uh, so that's what he does with his action. Uh, then the last armor is gonna try to chip a little bit off at Lucas or like at Leos uh, with a natural one and with a 22 to hit. So that's another 11 points of damage for you. Damn it, they... And then you eat it, I assume. Uh, yeah, I wanna pick it, pick it up with with my bite and just fling it across the yeah, room. Yeah, you do that. Uh, in... No rolls required. It had two hit points. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. With this, you have dispatched all of the defenses, and you've uh, scared the bejesus out of this young dragon, who is still, by the way, being. Held on his shoulder by Uncle Zardos. <laughs> so, uh, uh, what do you want to do now? I would like to, uh, like, as I like, sort of open. I'm in the progress of opening the cork. I'm just gonna tell it to, don't resist. It won't hurt. 
you will live and you will see mommy again. And then I'm gonna speak the command word for um, one of the iron flasks. It's supposed mangoes. <laughs> I know it's. Um... If it resists, it's a DC 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. no, it's not DC 17. DC 17 is the iron no. flask that is in the. In the... In the book, um, it's not yeah. quite that. Oh, this is yeah. It, it works almost the same except for the DC. Uh, any case, the control world is shaken, not stirred, and shaken, not stirred. he's scared enough. <laughs> the guy might be shaking. And he's scared enough to fail the saving throw. And it's, you see him just like you know, like like constrict, and then almost get like. Sucked into the bottle and he like momentarily turns into a line like of green color and then just like zoom, into the bottle and the cap itself goes like boom. You spaghettified him. I'll, I'll like uh, to immediately stuff the bottle down. Uh, who has the other two bottles? I have oh, all okay. of them. Carlos has them all. In the oh, right. He's a Wicked Master. master. <laughs> Future, I only have my first Pokemon. <laughs> I'm just imagining like somebody like some thug tries to like rob Arliss in an alley like happened like a year ago in game and Arliss is like Dragon I choose you <laughs> Or it's like if you if you find his stuff afterwards and you're like hey what's this? And you accidentally <laughs> maybe release this fucking dragon on one it's like okay good 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 Okay Um, well, one out of three caught. Let's, uh... I think Zalus looks a little bit disappointed. <laughs> a little bit. Let's, uh, use this next. get moving. What is this portcullis made out of? Like, uh, iron? It is some kind of metal. You assume... I'm gonna attack it in my dragon form. Ah, I will step aside. And I'm just the one side. I mean, you uh, do the roll, so I'm gonna tell you its stats in a moment. Somewhere. Anybody needs uh, some clean hands? Uh, except Zardus doesn't work on you. Um, I mean, I, I have lost about a third of my hit point. Yeah, I'll once I can reach you, go get some. To, yeah. All right, uh, your claws connect with the portcullis and it is sturdy. You expected it to tear, but you merely bend it. Uh, roll damage. Uh, so first was with a bite. Uh, that is 19 points of damage. Uh, yeah, but your bite is strong enough to like, you basically end up, you don't break the bars, you basically Bend the bars and tear the whole portcullis out of the wall. You break the stone around it. Yeah, nice. Oof. I'm just gonna slam it, uh, side, uh, swing it with with my with my maw into into one of the ballistas and the ballistas. and grunt uh, in a satisfied ah. manner. Uh, then I'm gonna turn into uh... question. Yes. Um, Oh, the the ability says I can turn into a humanoid that has a challenge rating no higher than my own. Uh, let's say I would try to transform into a proper knight. That wouldn't include the um, the equipment. Definitely right? not. That the knight. Like you okay. can pick up a sword from so, the statue, like the sword and shield. You will find like at least a set of those who are in working condition, but all of the armors are destroyed. <laughs> mm, shit. Mm. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna just gonna turn into a peasant. Yeah, I mean you can like spice it up. You can like turn into a halfling, call it a tiefling, or dwarf. Could I turn into? Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no. Uh, I'll turn into. I'll turn into a half orc, or into a nice a, elf a brown like half orc. Mm. orc. Let's fucking go. Huh? Yeah. Frego, can you pull out the other one up there? I'm gonna try and just uh, 
it, it's a part cost, right? So I could maybe try and just lift it up so they can go behind uh, under. I mean, you can sit and try. Yeah, I'll help yeah. you out with it. Make me an aesthetics check but to try and. I will like fly up. Here. Deal with it. Twenty-seven. It moves like a millimeter. I have a feeling it's not just oh. mechanically sturdy, it is also enchanted. Hmm. Got it. Let's move us. Uh, guys, you might want to take a few steps back. <laughs> okay. The conga line takes yeah, five we'll... steps back. <laughs> the conga line takes a couple of steps back. I want to shapeshift. I'm, I want to do it since I have an infinite amount of times, so and I'm just okay, going to sure. do my mouse worm and run right. Behind, right next to him. <laughs> no problem. You do that. Uh, all right. More? No, 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 no. I'm thinking how should I describe it? Yeah, like you, you figure out that it would be too. Even for you, it would be a bit too much. To, like actually, like cut through it, so you like take a weak point away, like the lock is supposed to be, and you slice it with a sun warrior, which more like melts it rather than cuts it. Uh, but after that, you give it like a yank, and with a strong yank, you do manage to open it. Good. Very good. Let's get out. Yeah. Uh, so... Leo, need some help? Um, you know. The one. Ah, uh, sure. Can I like turn on the light? Yeah, it's completely dark in like, here. Uh, I remember correctly. Uh, you want to is... cast light? I mean, I mean, I'm actually, sure wait a moment. Uh, check the spear should light, be uh, uh, like this. So let's go like this. It's a bit too much light for what she should do, but whatever. Yeah, and there's like two doors: uh, a little door to the left, door to the right, and door straight ahead of you. Uh, Leo, so I'll give you forty. Points? Is that okay? Sure, give me as much as you want. I'll take anything. I'll give him 40. And I'm just gonna open the doors to the left and to the right, just because I made the rooms. <laughs> Excellent. I will take a look inside. Okay, never mind. There's not much to see. There's quite a bit to see. There's like a table. Oh, the back table. Where? I don't Ooh. see. And it, okay. Oh, it's upstairs. Yeah. Nice. oh, here's a bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a weapon. It's like a, it's basically it's like a small guard waiting room for whoever mm -hmm. is defending this room. Uh, so we we essentially need to go this way downwards to continue, right? Uh, what do you mean downwards? Up here, out of the yes. castle, I think. Yes. Oh, there. There's. Yeah, the depredation was underground, yeah. and you got up. Good mm. question. Like um, this part out here, this is also going to be like narrow corridors. We're not going anywhere into the open at the moment, right? Uh, no, no. I mean, you're going above ground, but not nothing. Let's move um, quickly and quietly. If you hear anything, you should probably stop and see what's coming up ahead. But I doubt there are many dragons. And if we... that's good. Are we trying to stealth? I mean, I would like to see if we can find uh, Albert and Anna first before we go dragon hunting. So, yes. Okay. Can I'll you send, send them a message and ask if they're in a safe location? Or do you want to teleport them out or something? You guys still have the stone to Albert, right? I don't think we used that one. We used a sending spell, so you can use that. Or, I think it's probably in the bag of holding. And I'll like get it out and hold it out towards Trigo. Do we want Pass Without a Trace put back on? I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure it'll. If anything meets us in here, it's gonna get fucked up real quickly. Well, I, I will always need an action to turn into a dragon. Uh, yeah. Otherwise, I'm not really that helpful. It's okay. I think in this castle we should be fine. Be aware that bigger rooms, like the throne room, they might actually have dragons and stuff. You still have your bow, though, don't you, Leos? Not in my dragon form. I'm currently 
a dragon shape changing into a human. Well, so you, if you get hit, you change into a dragon? No. Hmm. If you get hit, you change back to the If I get hit, I get hit until I die. No, but like the peasant form has doesn't have a lot of HP? Or is it, it I don't know. I can take a punch, trust me. Okay, okay. Um yeah, I'll I'll talk into the stone code word your position in the castle. Um it's oh, oh that safe? was a mistake. Oh that was a mistake. Well, take the fucking rock <laughs> No no no, I mean using the rock it just came to my mind that maybe he doesn't have it anymore and that might be the mistake part of it but we already spoke so let's see what happens yeah, that's it. yeah that was the decision why we use sending instead yeah, of the stone yeah. shit there's no response okay no response i'll hand the rock back to arliss so he can make more movies with him yeah, all he said was that he was waiting for us. Uh, can, Zardos, can you ask him where? I think now time is going to be pressing. And, I think and whoever was on the other side. And ask if if they are currently safe. Yes. Because if they are currently safe, I don't see a reason why we should go to them, <laughs> but rather start hunting the dragons here. Well, they might be currently safe, but if we go and attack, they might send someone down to hurt them. Well, yeah, just uh, ask. We'll see what your response. Sure. Will you sting? Took out one dragon. Are you safe? If so, where? And I think that's it. Are you alone? Are you alone? About a dozen seconds later, you get a response. Good. And you're safe. And with the knights, we're prepared to join you. I didn't include where. Um. Uh, I, don't know, I don't know if there's a name for it. I think there's none because I can't come up with one. But basically, in the like castle barracks, I guess. Okay, then we can head for there to talk. Let's go. Quietly, if we can. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna cast Pass Without a Trace. Alright. Um, I'd like you all to make a stealth check in that case. I am proficient in stealth. Oh, so am I. Oh my god, dice. Hey, um, I rolled like Arliss. No, do you not have disadvantage? I have. Six plus ten. <laughs> All right. So we've got a sixteen, a seventeen, a twenty, a twenty-three, and a thirty-four. <laughs> At least they don't know where the target uh, is. <laughs> one second. Oh dear. Of course, the vampire hides well. I mean, it's still 60 and 70. All right. Yeah, bad. So, first thing first, once again, just because I made it, you open the door ahead of you. And remember that, yeah, you'll have to deal with that. Are these also animated armors? Oh, no, 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 no. Not the armors. Or more like you guys don't even think about it as you go ahead. Users, however, glance yeah, at yeah. the take oh, pause bright bit, so. sun rays that penetrate and cut the hole in front of you. And while, admittedly, you need to be in sunlight for a bit for it to damage you, you think to yourself, this is a shitty hallway. 
I wonder how well the castle is gonna be eliminated. And the outside of the castle. But it's end of May, it's warm, it's plus 30, it's bright outside, it's like 10 in the morning. <laughs> it's death outside. Well, at least it's not 12, it's not high noon. <laughs> Close? No. What was that? Like if you cover yourself with extra layers of clothes and all that. How That's high cool. is this walkway? How would I mean? Oh, uh, uh, height. Mean? Height is about like 50 yeah. feet. I mean, he can get through small bits of sunlight. It doesn't hurt him immediately. It hurts him. Oh, I know. He uh, stays in. I can. I can block one side with probably like my body and my shields i guess did you listen to me no <laughs> this this doesn't hurt him, this <laughs> oh okay this, uh, if it just moves <sighs> through small bits it doesn't hurt him that bad. Well, at I least he's honest close to the ceiling <sighs> let's start moving yeah <laughs> it looks really weird on like um, observer map where I see everybody's everybody's like field of view. And all the uh, yeah. all like the yeah. what's it called the triangles yeah. that uh, start yeah. being created yeah. because of it. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, doesn't matter. The the map ends there. I decided not to go further. I assume the dragon's gonna run. I didn't expect him to run too far. Uh, all right. Uh, so uh, you uh, get to the end of the hallway. You are just trying to like stick to the shadows, and um, making to the end of it, you open another door and find yourself in the castle. Castle, and it's not empty. There are still servants walking around, guards. It's not very populated, less populated than you used to, but there are people walking around. Uh, nobody's paying attention to you yet, but... Like, who's walking around close by? Like some servant? Uh, make me a perception check. All of you who's looking. Sure. I am very Quick. good at this. Sardos, help me out here. Yeah, I'd like to look too. Damn it, I rolled well. <laughs> yeah. Where's my dragon? I have a bajillion bonus on this. Oh yeah, I see everything. Uh, fuck. Okay, you are the see that uh, nice juicy shadow right next to you. I have a perception bonus of plus 14. Did you? Oh, yeah. Oh. I retain my uh, wisdom, intelligence, mm -hmm. charisma mm -hmm. modifier and my no, just proficiencies. Um, Alright, for the rest of you who are not Zardas, none of the people you see look like a dragon that has turned into a human. They all look like just normal guards and servants and workers of the castle. But Zardo sees it. Is there like uh, someone close by that one can like uh, wink on over? If you attract attention to yourself, yes. I mean, I think I'm just gonna leave them a little bit behind and like uh, fly a little ahead and like, hey, hello, mm -hmm. you have a second? Uh, you stop like uh, a servant who's like carrying some laundry who. Gives a quiet yelp. Very calm. Very calm. Very good. Okay, very good. Look. You know who I am, yes? You know who we are? I'm gonna, like, look back. Um, should I come close to you? You get. Uh, very good. We are here to help Alba. Do you know where in this castle there are any dragons or elves? He kind of looks back where he came from. Yeah, that one is gone. Uh, Good. That's all we go. need to know. 
Um, what I would like for you to do is to not spread the panic. You can get people to like uh, move downwards in the castle because in maximum like half an hour there's gonna be a fight with all of these dragons around. But do not, and I want you to hear me very well, do not spread the panic. I make decision you check. You can tell people. You see him like starting to hyperventilate a little bit from the responsibility, but you don't need to gather people. You can also just look after yourself if you like. I'm just saying um, it's gonna be dangerous, but we're gonna take care of it. Yes. All right. All it's that is very important is that we do not alert any dragons ahead of time. That's all. Yes. Okay, be on your way. And I'll like wink for the rest. And uh, yeah. continue towards the barracks. Right. Um, march, march, march. So, now that you are in the more uh, well eliminated parts of the castle, uh, how are you? <laughs> that? So. I guess yeah. I can try and block some, but I don't know if I can like block all of it. Well, I mean, uh, if you run around with a blanket, yeah. The shield is, the shield is half cover, but I don't know if I can like do more. I can like put him in the bag of holding, like take him out afterwards. He, he won't really hit him. through the hole. How but... many Pokemon's do you want, Arliss? Don't we oh, have man. winter clothes? Like, don't we have winter cloaks from when we went up there? Would that keep him from have getting it? We definitely cloaks and shit. That's not the issue. If it does protect him. If it only hurts if it hits his bare skin, then... Be when it's new, you're not sure it's... how it works. You're welcome to test it out and, like, yeah, dress him no up idea. and send him into the sunlight and see what happens. I mean, there's a different option, but I don't like it. I mean, I could turn you into... Some small animal and keep you in a pouch. And that was the consideration. My enemies. That but or a. Is... Uh, let's see, that or a turn into a cloud of mist. That doesn't get hurt by sunlight? Yeah, it still does, but make it a little easier for me to squeeze into above the windows. Yeah, yeah. Just, maybe you can just uh, like, go above the windows. Don't we have fun. another. Don't we have another flask? Maybe he can just temporarily go into the flask. That's this. That I mean, is a setup for the next campaign. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah, but I mean, can't I? I don't know all of the. Remember all the can't we release him? Empire. Yeah, but no, I mean, can't we just release him back out? I mean, yeah, it would work. You thought us? You're willing? I'll I'll mm. leave, I'll let you out first thing. It's a little weird, but... Okay, yeah, it's easier. I'll, like, take the uh, second flask out and say, Shake, not stir, and, uh... Oh, no, I yeah, have a bad feeling about this. Mm, yeah. Not sure about that. Okay, I'm... I don't know any... I don't know any other way we could do. It's like the moment he's inside the flask. We did it, guys! <laughs> yeah, that's the thing, it's... Why not? Uh, why not huh? do what, the polymorph thing? What? We, because that's a level it's four a spell. spell slot. <laughs> What's going to be around here where you will need that one spell <laughs> slot? Can't he just oh, squeeze in the bag of holding with mist? He doesn't need to breathe anyway. That he can do, yes. There you go. He can also turn into like some animal. And, and how does he get out? Actually, yeah, he can, can he get out on his own volition? Yes. Well, Good. That's the perfect. I mean, you can also like be okay. Yeah, do that. Be missed. Okay, then, Come yeah. into my bag. Sure, I'll do that. Nothing can go wrong. Nothing can go wrong. If you lose the exit. Yeah, I will. It's a little better since I can do stuff myself. So yeah, I will 
Shape change in the mist. What does it look like? I'm guessing at this point it's probably a semi semi transparent red mist. Alright. You see the mist squeeze in the bag of holding and disappear into its multidimensional storage. Uh oh, fun start. Oh no. Did I? So no, it was just, you just, just very right, what, momentarily. Just very sh- very right. momentarily. It seems better again. Okay. So what now? Well, oh, then let's keep moving. All right. Um, we fly towards, or I fly towards the barracks as they follow. All right. You don't want me to go first? <laughs> Why? Do you want to get smacked first? Join me. You can go on. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm, okay. I mean, I'm flying like a bu- up against. Oh, the above. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Nidala, so. Okay, okay, or okay. maybe let me walk first because I definitely have the most hit points out of all of us. Sure. And yeah. Sure. Go ahead. I'll I'll walk first. All right. We'll continue towards <clears throat> the barracks. You out for uh, elves. quietly navigate uh, the lower floors of the castle uh, as you follow the familiar hallways in the direction where you believe the uh, Castle Knight barracks are. I wish to say that you pass unnoticed by everybody, but it isn't true. The the servants mostly miss you due to the magic miller has cast on you, but the guards do notice you meet eyes with you and you like go and they just like give the slightest of nod and grip their weapon stronger and so with others safely secured away from sunlight you make your way to the door that leads into the courtyard you open it as a bright sun feels there around you, you see the sun for the first time in two months. It's quite enjoyable. Oh, what hour is it? It's like 10, 11, somewhere there in the morning. And last time you were here, it was just brown everywhere. Now everything is green. The courtyard is covered in grass. The trees are in full bloom. The flowers are blooming. And from the above, you hear a low rumbling voice in Draconic. No, no, no. I wonder where these little mice are going. Can I use my action quickly to turn into a dragon? No. We're gonna take a break. Okay. Oh, fuck. Okay. The grass in.
and we are back. So, you've entered into the courtyard, and just as you were prepared to rush over to the other side and rejoin King Galbert with his knights in the barracks, you were stopped in your tracks. Oh no, it worked. The dynamic lightning. I guess I didn't see it on my thingy. Alright, whatever. Fine, it works. Um, who apparently was observing you from the rooftops very curiously. Swooped down a bit lower and asked you, what are you doing here? And, well, I mean, you're welcome to talk, but let's roll initiative first. Swap here. Map. Alright, uh, Atlas, wow. Zardos in the bag, 17. Uh, Atlas, what's your modifier? Zero. So, uh, 14, it was 14, and Trego. Uh, or. All right. So, all right. But before you manage to do anything, you see as the roots of the nearby tree become overgrown, as they snake towards you and grasp for your feet. I need everybody to make a strength saving throw. Me included if I am uh... on the carpet? In pretty much, um, I was here. saying like 10 feet before usually. Alright, everybody except you. Thank you. And sorry, it's in a bag. Uh, so 23. I wasn't even counting. Did you say strength or dexterity? Strength. You Alright, so do what we have? Trigger a lot, Leos a lot, Melora not that much. Alright, so you all find yourself kind of stumbling in this, well not all, everyone except for the people in the air, in this um, overgrown area created by the roots which count as difficult terrain, and you, Melora, find yourself actually you don't, because this is technically not a spell. So while the roots try to grab and restrain you, I believe your druid abilities prohibit you from being restrained by plants. <laughs> That's funny. Yep. Well, nevertheless, it is still difficult terrain. And which she also ignores that. Uh, she does, yep. else doesn't. Uh, and Arlis, it is your turn. Um, I am going to look up at the big lizard in the Oh, sky. just mentioning, it's sunny! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't even, I don't even think I want to get Sardis out saying. here. He's just gonna burn up in a second. I'm not gonna, like, try and wave this mist out of my bag. <laughs> Go, Zardos! I choose you! Ah! Zardos, he's yeah, a fire-type exactly. Pokemon! Super on the thing. 
So I will like look upwards and like make a grasping motion. This one is too big for telekinesis the way I see it, right? Oh yeah, he's got gun chance. This, yeah, he is uh, bigger than the last one. Is so, he? Um, it's just the map is yeah. big as well. Also, he looks different if you pay attention. Um, so looking upwards, I am going to start off the way I am going to be fighting every dragon. Um, and heightening an earthbind upwards. Huh? Which oh. instantly triggers a surge, Change. because I used Tides of Chaos at the end of last fight. <sighs> Bullshit options. Um, I will take the second one, as a, a beautiful butterflies and flower petals start <laughs> raining down onto the carpet and around, down towards the people who are stuck beneath me. Uh, did, did... Um, I would like for him to make a DC 20 strength save at disadvantage. Uh, did you want an initial roll from me? And... Yes, please. Uh, 11. Ooh. <laughs> oh, does this thing... So does he have a plus nine? nine? Yeah. I'm gonna say, no, he does not have plus nine, and I am going to leave it be. As I grasp with my right hand, trying to pull him down. All right. And as you do, you see yellow bands of light wrap around the dragon. And, well, he remains stuck on the roof that he currently is on. Mm -hmm. But he, oh, good, good. But he's... Uh, yes, in his wings are currently tied up, caught. yeah. And then that is that what I'm going to tell the others. He's, uh, he's tied down. You're concentrating now. Get him. Yeah, I am concentrating now. Um, and <coughs> since he is now tied down... Let's see, what fun stuff do I want to do to him? Hmm. Helm? No. Uh, I think... Fuck. We're good Don't for now. Gonna pretend that this is zero flying speed. <laughs> uh, Zardos, you're chilling in your bag, blissfully unaware of the sunlight outside. Because apparently your comrades want you to feel bored for the next two hours. Uh, Melora, it is your turn. Um... The trees are not cooperating with you. I don't have anything that can stop the trees. <laughs> stop the trees! Uh, shit, I don't want to do anything until someone else does something. I mean, you can grasp his better inner self and try and believe in him, believe in you. <laughs> believe in you for me? I mean, he's on the roof, yeah. right? Um, okay. Nice. Oh fuck! Um, I missed her. Can you hold an a um action to dodge if he drops a breath or anything? I mean, you can just dodge as an action, and it stays for the whole yeah, round. It's until the start of the next turn. All right, I'll just do a dodge if yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna blow, throw like a fireball. I don't back or anything until we actually start fighting. Am I a robot? Okay. We start it for yeah, a moment, I'm... but... Yeah. Okay, uh, so you take dodge action, um, and do you remain in place? Uh, I'll move over just a little bit, or move back. Alright. Uh, you do that. Uh, Leos, what about you? Oh no. I'm gonna use my action to turn into a dragon. Big surprise, big surprise. I'm and guessing me and Melora get shoved forward. Ah. I'm gonna use my 80 feet flying speed to fly up, fly up. Wait, take me with you! 
I don't care about you. <laughs> <laughs> um, and fly next to the dragon into uh, onto the roof. All right. Uh, in that case, at the end of your turn, he's gonna use his legendary action to beat his wings. I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I don't know if I can even succeed on that. I mean, you might have a question. Uh, oh, no. Some do. No. Uh, oh, yeah, actually, uh, it's a 19. Uh, they do. Uh, 19? Uh, well, yeah, uh, it's that's six. not enough. Um, then I'm gonna use a legendary resistance to succeed. That's the first one, right? Yes. All right. What just happened? Uh, the Dragon's Roof attempted to release himself from their kin bindings by flapping his wings furiously. Uh, it didn't work in releasing him, and thankfully Fidelius didn't work in knocking him prone. Uh, but there was a bit of a kerfuffle. <laughs> and a bit of a kerfuffle is happening on the roof as the two ancient dragons are fighting each other. Look at them go. Look at that magnificent beast. Uh, okay, uh, so that happened. Now it is his turn uh, proper. He figured out that his wings no longer work. And hear him muse quietly. Hmm. Must be the one that Mother spoke of. And with a dog. As he attempts to bite at you, the only one who is rightfully in range. Uh, well, he's also gonna use his frightful present just for shitting giggles. Uh, as a matter of fact, it is my belief. No, did you eat Hero's Feast as a dragon or as a human? As right, a dragon. I don't know. Uh, well, then he's gonna bite you. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Oh, wow. Uh, 17. Miss. And he's gonna claw at you twice. 27 and 30. Yeah, that's two hits. Wow, those two leave mighty marks upon your hide as you are slashed for 21 and 26 points of damage. This big boy just might have the big claws than you do. Not by much. Yes. Um, w one second. Um, don't forget the uh, the damage. Uh, Try go by. How much did you heal me up again? Forty. By forty, so I was at two fifty. Uh, whatever is your current token is, I just copied your token from the previous map. Uh, yeah, but I didn't change the the hit points on the uh, on the dragon. I uh, okay. Changed so it on your Leo's token figure. had two hundred sixteen um, hit points before I copied it. So I assume plus forty is the two hundred fifty. Yes, good, exactly. The, uh, I just added the uh, okay, 40 okay, to, okay, to, right. to, yes, to reach yes, 246. Yes. How much damage was uh, it? A total of 47. Minus 47. Holy okay. shit. Where's the clock? Okay, thank you. And that's his turn. However, as he lashes at you, you see, like, his eyes dart upwards, and you all see a second smaller dragon flying into the area. Right side of the map. Can you land this one not on a roof? <laughs> uh, no, I'm gonna leave it okay. hanging in midair, 80 feet up. As the dragon, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba, with his speed, speed, seats to basically link Julius with its movement and action, getting into reach of you as it speaks. What, what is this, big brother? 
and it is Trigger's turn. Action. Um, oh, yeah. Well, Trouble. first of all, I wanted to say maybe we can see Leos's general uh, health bar, like we can see the others, but without numbers. Um, but I'm gonna turn to Melora and desk her. Honey, can you get us up there? And... Shouldn't be a problem. Good. And I will... Um... What's the range on command? <laughs> I don't know. 30 feet, I think. Maybe 30, 30 yeah, so I can't reach... Uh, what's his face? Um... I'm gonna... Shit. Oh, this is the most value fucking shit we have here. I guess I'm just gonna... Dodge for now. Ah. Yeah, because I need Millard to bring me up there and holding it. I need the reaction zoom in. in case something happens. So, what do you do? Then... I'm I'm just dodging right, sure. and yeah that's dodge it. as an action. Uh, Okie dokie. In that case, at the end of your turn, both of the dragons are gonna use a legendary action to tear at Leos. Uh, big boy first slams you with his tail with a twenty nine to hit. For 19 points of bludgeoning damage, while his younger brother uh, misses with a 90 to hit. Nice. And top of initiative. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Yeah, let's risk it. Uh, the roots beneath you are less. Release a puff of... Um, what's it called? Like spores which rise up to you and envelop you in a bit of a fog. I need you to make a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom. I am going to use Tides of Chaos. You do get the plus six. Yeah, yeah I am in range. All right. Twenty-eight. They smell awful. <laughs> it is your turn. Excellent. I am going to. I need to quickly look at. Like, um, quick question. Mm -hmm. This field here is still part of his body, right? Oh, uh, he's up in the air. Basically. Oh, but, but no, technically uh, this is uh, not. Uh, no, it's not. Or is it? Does it start here? Uh, he... because then he's like uh, three by four. So I thought it was four by four. Uh, he he is four by four when his wings are open, but his feet are at the bottom of his field. Okay, um, I'm going to be flying five feet backwards. So now from like there, that's. 20 feet, he probably doesn't reach anymore. I, hope. <laughs> um, I mean, he's 60 feet I'm in the air, so I think he doesn't. I mean, I'm flying 35 oh, okay. feet up, so... <laughs> mm. And then being up here... Oh, God. Um... What do I want to do? This is a little too risky. <laughs> uh, you run up to him and punch him. No, I am going to... Well, not knowing how this works, I am too like. Use my action to get the mist out of the bag. I don't know how it works. 
and I also you don't know search how for Zardos works, as so. an action. Yes, basically, because that's how you get things yeah, out of the bag. That's, yeah, that's what I mean. That, that's what I'm trying to Yeah, Zardos, you, in your so. dimension, you see like a hand reaching for you and grabbing you and pulling you out of the bag somehow, I guess. And into, and the, pain. into the pain, yes. Um, let's put you. In for the shadows. Uh, over here. <laughs> and oh, knowing that Zardos does not like sunlight. You're also for. I still can't do it. No. Fuck. Because I think the staff only allows me to cast as an action. Let me check. Hey, they usually do. Yeah, at the, for the staff, I need to use an action. I need to get an action to get you the fuck out of there. So I can't also protect you from the sun. Which is unfortunate. All right. So <laughs> what I will do instead... This is fun. Is... I am going to cast... Synaptic Static as a bonus action. Alright, go for it. Quickening it. Sounds it expensive. Work. Oh, there it comes. Alright, so I need Touching. all of the dragons, I, I assume? No, wait. No, I am only targeting the big left one. I don't want to target okay. Leo. Fair enough. I said 26 points of damage. Look at that <laughs> brilliant fucking uh... feature. Um, Oh. And I want him to just roll an intelligence save. DC 20, please tell me his natural roll. Eight! Oh yeah, he ain't making this. He is gonna so... burn his shit. Yeah, he should. Yeah, on this I'm definitely burning my shit. That's one. Six, 13 points of damage and no negative effects. Alright. No negative uh, effects. Kills? And I I've be... used yes. everything. Good I'm on you. Done. All right, uh, Zardos, it is conveniently your turn. It is the very start of it, uh, which you start in sunlight, also in the mist form, which means you immediately take 20 points of radiant damage as you feel your cells immolated. Um, good luck. <laughs> I mean, there are shadows yeah, that yeah. you can hide in, uh, but they are very well seen on the map, so to speak. And where am I? Uh, no, you just in the middle of air. On the carpet. Yeah. On the carpet, forty-five feet. Oh, yeah, in sure. The air. Yeah, I don't remember how shape change works for you. I think it's it's definitely an action to turn into yeah. the cloud. I don't remember what it takes to yes. turn out of the cloud. Let's see. It's close to there. <laughs> if the vampire isn't in sunlight. Yeah. Feels. You're slow. Yep. Oh, you can't turn back. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the problem. <gasps> uh, this is nice. So fucking inefficient. Oh, well, Zardas. I wish I had just put you in the fucking other thing. You know what you are thinking about right now? I mean, just like go beneath my rope. Fucking traitors. Try and transform there. There's I mean, there's two there. huge dragons right above you. I don't know. He's not very well, you can go right for the nearby tree. Like 40 feet just gets you into the shadow, basically. Okay, yeah, then I will do that. Alright, so you're at ground level. Or like five feet in the air, I guess, so you can like adjust your height. Uh, but since your flying feet is only 20 feet, that's about... yeah. if I understand correctly. Unless you want to, no, wait, you can't because you need to transform before you do any bonus actions, <laughs> right? Uh, adjust your height uh, at the end of 
uh, actually should have been at the end of Aris's turn, but whatever. At the end of your turn, uh, the small dragon is gonna uh, swipe at Leos once again with his uh, tail uh, 22 to hit, uh, 13 points of bludgeoning damage, while the huge one is gonna glance at Arliss, who just did something confusing and just bound his wings, and you see the tail going towards you and the very tip of it might connect. 20 yes. feet far. He's a big boy. Yeah. Do you want the nature roll? No. 30 to hit? <laughs> yeah, that's what I presumed. No. Uh, 21 Animal point hit? of bludgeoning damage. Ooh, I don't believe it can break your hard. concentration. I don't remember. It can... DC 10. I'm not in Trego's reach. Mm. Oh yeah, you're not. And I have a plus eight, but I do have it. Oh, roll for it. First, let's subtract that. That oh, fucking stupid. Minus twenty one. Uh, while you roll that, Melora, and it's then... your turn. Twenty three. What type of concession are you gonna buy the way? Take the plus. Oh, Earthbind. Okay. His yeah, yeah. wings. Uh, Melora, yeah. it's your turn. All right. Um, I wanna. Do thunder step and grab Trego and move me and him up to the top of the roof where the adult dragon is. Okay. Uh, I kind of can't see what the roof uh, is. There's no roof on the mini map um, because I decided not to in, 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 in entertain you with my drawing skills. But pretend it's there. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Um, yeah, I'll move the two of us right here. Alright. Um. Are you trying to be on and top of him or not? Ah, uh, Christ, I don't know. Uh, I mean, you're welcome to try. It's just yes. gonna be complicated. No, no. Then we'll just go on. Right, to the then roof. please move uh, one square above. All right. Oh, uh, that's you. And that's my regular action. Do, or does grabbing Trego count as a regular action? No. I believe the spell allows you to just do it as part of the spell, if I remember correctly. It's correct. free. Yeah, it's free. Okay. And grabbing me is free. Uh, is as, it, is, 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 okay, as my regular action, I'm going to try and earth find the other dragon up right up, right across okay. from us. Uh, do that. All right, strength saving throw for the small boy. Uh, uh, he saves. Okay. Uh, what's your DC? 19 or 20? 19. He still saves? I'm just checking. <laughs> uh, Alright. Uh, ba -bum -ba -bum. Uh, at the end of your turn, they're gonna use their last legendary actions to uh, basically repeat the things they just did because it seems to be working quite well. A small boy goes for Leos with a 21 to hit. Oh, it does? Oh, right, you're only 20. Yeah, it's right, just 20. So that's 15 points of damage for you, and the big boy once again smacks at Arliss with a 34 to hit. Or, eh, and miss the 14 points of damage. But still, please make that me another con save. Still a con save. Yeah. Yeah. No plus 6, but. Uh, Alright, you're good. Yeah, I know. Um, 14, yes. you said? Yes. And Leos, it is your turn. I'm gonna keep flying around here, so that's um, that's gonna be an opportunity attack for the big one. Uh, where are you going? Uh, here. Uh, okay. Like, yeah, yeah. He's here. gonna bite for you. Uh, Twenty-seven to hit. This. You could have sentinelled when he attacked me. For Sorry, something. was it oh, twenty-seven yes, to hit? Okay. Uh, yeah. And uh, 20 points of piercing damage plus poison, but you are immune to poison. So 20. Yeah, okay. Um, uh, 18 misses. Then. Okay. Um, then I'm going to use my uh, power word uh, fire breath. <laughs> um. But Quick question, a... can you Frightening Presence and Breathe? Uh, no. Because they aren't no. immune to Fright, just because we are. No, both is uh, both are actions. Okay. 
Um, so I am going to like the, this line. Mm -hmm. um, uh, just for the record, you them. will be damaging the roof of the castle, but whatever. I don't care. <laughs> uh, deck saves. Yes. I'm a dragon now. Come so on, that roll. is 16 d6. Uh, DC is 21 for Dex dexterity. Save. 55 oh, all right. points. Big boy and that small boy. Oh, wow. Small boy actually dodges. So it's one he point takes lower, 25, 27. No, that's you. Fuck. I almost reduced your own hit points. Uh, 27 for the small boy. And the big boy uh, can't dodge, but he's going to take it because your fire is puny and he's not afraid of you. <laughs> That's okay. Is it the end of your turn? That's okay. Um, I'm not wasting legendary resistances on damage. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah, you I'm, might have I'm good. To. Well, if you throw this at me, I will. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, at the end of your turn, it is the big boy's turn, who now finds himself unpleasantly... Uh, Limited in his mobility, uh, and we, but with some nice uh, chambadis uh, right next to him, so he's gonna use his frightful presence just because he can, and testing the waters, uh, see that it does nothing, and then he shall, uh, you know, like when you can't quite open your tin can, you like start like trying to like scoop meat out of it. Anyway, Melora. Because, 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 because. Yes, that's right. Trigger doesn't have a reaction. Uh, so uh, he bites at Melora. Uh, 17 to hit, which I believe just hits. Mm -hmm. And claws at you twice. Uh, 30. With the plus yes. 2? Yeah, she's only 15 normally with her armor, so it's 17. She's a caster, not a warrior. Uh, and 30 and 23 with his claws. So poison again, I'm gonna ignore. Uh, but a bite is 26 uh, points of damage of piercing. And claws are 21 and 26. Holy All right. shit, this one hurts bad. Do you have it? All right. There you go. But that's his full turn. And then uh, the young one is basically gonna engage in, area, in, in aerial combat with Leos as he goes for a similar uh, slash and bite combo at you. It's to be working fairly well. Uh, 18 bite doesn't penetrate your... your... No, skin. skin. Scales? Scales? Well, both. And uh, first claw like grabs you, doesn't penetrate uh, because it misses, but allows him to drive in his second claw for a natural twenty, uh, which actually won't be all that much because he is not that big. Oh wow, one and one, nice. Seventeen points of damage. Seventeen yes. points of damage. That's not that's too not much. much at all. And now the fun for me ends, because Treg, it's your turn. <laughs> um, hmm. He's, he can't move, uh, right? He can. He can't fly. He can't fly. Okay. Um... Shove him much off the edge, it's gonna be fun. No, I need... I'm thinking about doing the thing I did for Rogarian. Oh. Yeah, it'll be fun. Which thing was um, it? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna... Yeah, there's no point in holding back on damage, I think. So I'm gonna use, what's it called? Oh. This today. Solo flare. That's the one. Sure. Uh, and use. Uh, 
one prominence to make it my DC. All right. Not the not the cards okay. DC. Uh, yeah. So Trego takes a step back, chucks the spear into the sky, All right. and I'm gonna aim. Yeah, put uh, the marker on the map. Okay. Okay. That hits him, oh, right? Yes, that definitely hits him. Okay. Alright, that's your turn. At the end of your turn, new round. Um, oh boy, uh, how do I want to do this? I mean, it could technically work. Hmm. Flying. Yeah, I guess it's gonna be like this. All right. So you watch as like the um, you know, like a creeping vines that were adorning the wall of a castle uh, start growing violently as they crawl up the castle wall and on the roof and. Dash for you, Trega and Melora, growing bigger, becoming brown instead of green and sprouting thorns, as a thorny wall is created in your space. I need both of you to make a dexterity saving throw. And I'm just gonna draw a wall. Oh, yeah, pretend it's a wall of thorns. <laughs> Uh, so Melora is at 22. Alright, uh, that's a lot. So both of you... Uh, and I'm 18. Second. Complicated. Why? Why is it so complicated? Didn't. So. I. Nothing happens. But. I guess. Yeah, right, yeah, nothing happens. We're just in the magical thorn wall. Uh, all right. Can we move? Uh, Can we... We'll have to figure out on your turn, as I read more about this. Okay. Uh, but in any case, uh, Alice, it is your turn. Yes, your turn. Okay. I'm going to use my action to disengage. All right. And fly the fuck away from this piece of shit. <laughs> Just like five backwards and then twenty five. Yeah, that's fine by me. And now let me quickly look for a point that might work. Hmm, that does not work. Hmm. Very unfortunate. I don't think the point exists where I do not get Trigo and or Leos. No. Mm. Fuck it, I'm throwing another synaptic static at Big Boy. As a bonus action? Go for it. It should roll any day now. What the fuck, guys? <laughs> oh, okay. No sixes for you. Average is 28. Uh, do you need the natural? Mm -hmm. Please give me his natural. Uh, 17. Yeah. 
Ah, oh, fuck. And he's probably clever. Plus three. I mean, I'm he knows at least two languages. <laughs> he knows at mm -hmm. least two languages. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bend luck and see if maybe we get lucky. Minus three, 14 now. DC 20. Alright, yep, he's gonna burn another resistance. Alright, very good. Nice, nice. I am fine with this turn of events. I am okay. Okay, this and is fine. this is Tides of Chaos round 2 to sorcery points. That's sure very is... likely. Round 2. <laughs> Wait, which one is the turn? This one is the turn. Yeah. That's the third. I will take the second option. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, that's the end of my turn. better than the first option. <laughs> Alright. Mm, uh, at the end of the turn, the dragons are gonna use their legendary actions to attack their respective targets, one of them being obviously Leos. Uh, uh, that's gonna be a miss of your scales, and the other one again being. Uh, you don't have your spear with you again, Milora. A 20 to hit. I can punch sure, him. Sure, punch him. <laughs> no, I mean, no. you're welcome to. I need the reaction in case he moves. Really? Will I ever stop rolling once on my damage die? So, Milora, you take 10. Oh, no, no, no. 10 points of bludgeoning damage. Nice. Fuck it. Just one attack? Yes! Uh, Alright. Oh, okay. uh, Zardos, it is your turn. You are a cloud of mist that's five feet in the air. You are pretty unhappy about your situation, oh, right. but... Yeah. Yeah, I forgot I was still mist. Yeah, you will be sorely missed uh, when yeah. you die. Yeah, I will drop to the ground and change back. Alright. And since it's my action, don't really have a lot to do. And I will just look around like, holy shit. <laughs> this is... This is a lot of fun. You can, I think yeah. you can do that as a free action. <laughs> I mean... There's, he has only bonus actions, so unless you want to like, cast a spell or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's got to be second level or lower, right? No, or you haven't gotten it because your actions, so you can yeah. cast whatever. Well, it's the action to yes. change back, yes. wasn't it? But I mean, if, if, that's, if that's the okay, only so spell it... you're casting this turn, that you can cast it at whatever level you want. No, I mean, it's okay. a bonus action. If, if it good. has a bonus action, casting time, obviously. Let me okay. not confuse you. I just um, know that some of your spells have bonus action casting time, like Misty Step Back into the Sunlight, for example. <laughs> well, it was first. <laughs> you know, Dan, I dislike the thing you spent three weeks working on for me. I'm gonna die. <laughs> yeah, no. All stuff I want to do is action. Dang, so, yeah. Died. Just standing here looking right. around. Uh, that's fair enough. Uh, the dragons go are team, gonna go. Uh, spend another legendary action to do the same thing. A tail for Milora, 24 to hit, 15 points of damage. And uh, Leos, 22 to hit. It's uh, 12 points of damage. Yep. Uh, and Milora, it is your turn. Question, would I recognize this spell as one of my druid spells uh, or no? The thorns, the wall of thorns. Uh, you notice no spell casting. That's all you know. Everything else will require a check. Will take you, which will take your action. Okay. The dragon barks. Puppy. Loudly. No, that was draconic. <laughs> uh, it was an impostor. 
I'm going to put my hand on Trego's shoulder and cast haste on him. Okay. Anything else? And Ooh. I'll... Um, actually, no, because I can't bonus You're concentrating on that, by the way. Yeah, I know. I'm putting it up. Uh, no, that's... I'm not going to move. And Trego, how about you? What are you doing? It's my no, turn? No, but you're hasted. All right, there you go. Uh, all right. Yeah, I was uh, looking for okay. it. Okay, if Milora, that is the end of your turn. Then... Uh, oh, wait. I do need to do one more thing. Uh, you are currently stuck in this wall. And you're pretty sure for some of your allies, it will prove quite hard to get out of. But I do need you to make another dexterity saving throw. I uh, know, only Milor for now, because it's her turn. Alright, with Trigger's thingy, you're good, but uh, the wall is full of storms. It may not be advisable to stay in it for prolonged durations, just saying. Okay. Um, I'll take it as I'm gonna stay here anyway. <laughs> uh, so, Sajre? I mean, if this is the... Uh, I mean, you can step yeah. out of it if you wanna. Um... You can, and you won't have attack of opportunity. Most likely. Because you're that's still within not, reach. That's not the what issue I'm is the wall of, is I... pretty tall, it's like 10 yeah. foot tall, so if you walk out of it, you're gonna be on the side of the wall, and you won't be able oh. to see as a big guy, okay. unless a small guy. Which, to be fair, considering your hit points may not be the bad idea, but... Up to you. Because the wall is uh, thick. I guess she would... Tri I think I know what it is, but I know she wouldn't, so yeah, she'd try to back right. out. You do. You successfully back out of the wall without taking any damage because you're Melora. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now this, I assume, is going to be the end of your turn? Alright. Yes. Then, yes, it is. Uh, Sorry, I almost got this. the sir. dragons. I know you don't like that. Gonna use their last legendary action to slap their well one of them is gonna slap uh leos another 22 to hit i like that number uh another 14 points of damage and the big boy uh, with melora kind of behind the wall and not quite feasible uh, he's gonna aim at trago this time uh well what do you know theory i see now with haste like 26 28 27. Mm, it's 27. This, however, is 29 to hit. I could shield, I think. If you would but, like to. Uh, if he moves. Wait, this. Uh, it will take your reaction. No, I'm good. I mean, I'm full HP. Right. Yeah, no, I need to. In that reaction. case, you take 15 points of damage as you're slapped by the tail. And it is Leo's. It is the turn of Leo's. Uh, let me check first if I get get my breath back. Please do. Let's go. Yes, you do. That yes. is a five, no. which means that is a yes. Oh, you. And I haven't... I have a morning's bad breath. It's 10 a.m. I want to show them. Yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna dragon breath is cool. give it a good line. I remember having dragon breath. All right. For 54 points of damage. Okay, uh, the young boy... No, wait, that's the big boy uh, who dodges it. Uh, what's your DC? Uh, 21. Uh, 21. Uh, the young boy does not dodge it. So he takes full 54. Trigger, no, I haven't skipped um... you yet because you threw your spear, we went through everybody, and we haven't reached you yet. Unless you can prove to me otherwise. Melora goes before me. Uh, yes, your last an initiative. Yeah, uh, and I go after Melora. Your last an initiative. Oh. So you okay. zero the phone. <laughs> yeah. Right. Uh, you do that uh, <clears throat> much to the anger of the dragons around you, as a young boy. I mean, I'm not gonna say he's losing the fight, considering how well you look, but he's definitely not winning it either. Uh, nonetheless, it's the big guy's turn, uh, who's now uh, kind of limited in his abilities, uh, which means he's gonna go on uh, all out on Trigger, 
Oh, well, he's gonna roar loudly uh, just nice. for the sake of it. Why not? Good choice. Uh, and he's gonna shout in draconic. Kill that brass bitch and get our siblings. As he tears into Traeger. Uh, bite. Uh, 28. Claw. Yes. Yes. 18 points of bite damage. Good. Poison you ignore. You I mean... I should have like picked, I don't know, white dragons or black dragons when I was coming up with big big bad evil guy, but I ignore the you bite. Ignore the poison damage on the bite. The poison part of the bite. Because po so it's yes, 18, it's right? 18 piercing damage and poison damage, but I'm not doing poison damage because you're immune to poison damage. So I'm saving as time, which I have just wasted explaining to you. <laughs> All right. Anyway, he does that, and the small guy is gonna attempt to kill uh, Lucas. Uh, no, Alios. Uh, he would kill Lucas sure. very easily. <laughs> uh, yep. Bite misses. I'm squishy. And claws 20 to hit and the miss. So he's finding very yeah, bad, hard time penetrating through the scales as he does only 13 points of damage uh, with uh, the claw uh, that penetrated. And the, the end of the return, and Trego, it is your turn. Uh, make me take stage saving throw. Yes, but make me take stage saving throw first. <laughs> Alright, no, no, that's a fail. Uh, you uh, struggle in the wall as the thorns of the wall, wow, uh, pierce you for 22 points of damage. Uh, and you spear descends. And, I'm and you spear descends. Yes, he needs to make a DC 20 dexterity save. Well, I think I'm gonna be using Canadian resistance here. Uh, we go. Nah, he doesn't know. Natural roll, please. Natural uh, roll. Six. I was muted that I was trying to. Scream. Six. Six. And what did it's a DC 20 yes. deck save? Oh, yeah, I'm not. <laughs> I'm oh not boy. I'm bending that one. And that comes down. <laughs> it's nice. Like, burns past him. Searing the side of his neck as he roars out in terrible pain, and both of the dragons kind of have to close their eyes for a second uh, so as not to be blinded. Uh, that was painful. That was also the only time you can do it this day. And it's because you want to do a new turn? Yes, bonus action call my spear and then attack a bunch of times. Go for it. That's a hit. Yes! Smite, 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 smite. Oh god. Uh, fourth level spell. Sure, let's go with that. Well, at least he's not on dead, Dragon. I mean, he's about to be dead, Dragon. <laughs> That, those are some good rolls right there. Uh -huh. oh, those are some really good Six rolls. seconds ago, he looked fine. He was the pinnacle of <laughs> dragon health. Right now, he looks like he needs a nap for a month. Uh, and then, uh, he should I'll have shout... turned that legendary resistance, you know? He should have yeah. I'll shout till the us. It would uh, help me. Kill the small one and come help with this guy. <laughs> Konika, I assume. <laughs> yes, of course. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> All right. Uh, top of initiative. Uh, layer stuff. La 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 la. All right, let's go with this. Uh, Arles, you once again find yourself the target of a 
cloud of spores. I needed to make another wisdom saving throw. Mother bitch. Uh, I'm gonna use another Tides of Chaos. Since I have it back and I am scared. 22. 22. Alright. As previously, it smells terrible. And it just. Uh, it is your turn. Oh, what the fuck's happening? Uh, Actually, no, sorry. Uh, before you, you go, sorry. at the end of the dragon's turn, the dragons are gonna retaliate with their reactions. Uh, gonna try to versus. Well, the big AC. boy. Yeah, he definitely was hurt by that because he. That was pathetic. That was really pathetic. And the young one actually hits with a 22 for another 12 points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, and now, Aris, it is your turn. So, we are going to do what is going to be fantastic, fantastically scary for this boy. So I'm gonna shout in Draconic to look over here. Okay. You better dodge this. And I am going to quicken, heighten, disintegrate. At him. Okay. Close at, combo. Oh, two. Huh? At the small one or the big one? The okay. big one. Oh boy. He still has a, has a legendary resistance. All right. So, so why roll it? Dex save and disadvantage. Exactly. Yes. Would you also like to know my natural roll? This one is natural <laughs> roll. Second. Yeah. Uh, why is my second one not rolling? Oh, there we go. Uh, I wish I had advantage. A uh, four. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Four? Well, then I'm just gonna leave. Yes, that one was a natural 20. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, so. I'm definitely spending a legend resistance on this. Yeah, um, I thought so. So, we're presuming that all of his legendary resistances yes. are gone? Maybe. Uh, being you gone. presume? Yeah. yeah, I don't know. So, I'm just gonna. Uh -huh. So this size might have more, but I don't know. So I am going <coughs> to... Why wait to find out? Uh, cast another um, disintegrate. I'm going to catch a Pokemon or attempt right. to. Um, I don't know what the DC of this oh, truck yes. is, but please uh, tell me the natural rule. Uh, Since it's not 17. No. Uh, 7. Because yes, natural rolls a seven. It's pretty good. Do you want to well, not what, risk it? What 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 do we know? What DC of this? Let us have told you that uh, the weaker they are, the better the chance of success. And if they're unconscious, it will. Also, oh, it's exactly like Pokemon. <laughs> oh, so it is like fucking catching yeah. Pokemon. Um, you you should have knocked him asleep or paralyzed it. him or like. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know that part, but I'm going to use spend luck because right. it, it feels risky. Minus two. Uh, minus so two. Five. Right. Um, you speak the command word, and you see his form start to distort, and then reshape. Fucking hell! Apparently, that DC wasn't so low. All right. At the end of your turn. They are gonna try to rectify the situation. Uh, or at least, well, there's gonna be something different. Uh, so the big boy has not many options. Uh, he's gonna... Yeah, I guess he's gonna try and smack Trag with his tail again, hoping that he's gonna die eventually. 27, this actually hits. Uh, 16 points of damage to you. Uh, the small... Um, what? Can I uh, try Tides of Chaos before the turn ends? What do you mean? It was still my turn basically until just now for the Disintegrate. Uh, you didn't draw for it? Be oh, okay, no. sure. Okay. Uh, because it's one round, but it's five sorcery points on this mm. spell, so there's a good chance. Oh, yeah. What was roll? <laughs> oh, that's the I don't even know why you weren't checking. That would have been able without sorcery points, I search. Um, That's interesting. Oh no. Ah. Ah, uh, option one can fuck me so hard, though. 
Don't risk, go safe. <laughs> uh, they're both not good. <laughs> I mean, one of them is good, it's just not good under this situation, considering his abilities. Yeah, but I'm making him too. Uh, no, I was talking about option one. Uh -huh, uh, I, I am taking option right. one because the other one's too risky. So you do that. Um, yeah, alright. So uh, Trek is slapped for 16 points of damage. Uh, but the young one is gonna flap his wings. And I need you, Leos, to make a dexterity saving throw. That was the wrong sheet. That is a D. Roll D20 plus 6. 12. 12. I'm gonna use a legendary resistance. Alright. I don't wanna be fucked with. Uh, well, still, uh, he. Uh, flies away from me. Does he disengage? Uh, no. So you do get an attack of opportunity. I'm gonna go in. Then I would like to bite him. I'll bite some real good. Work as well. Twenty-eight to hit. Uh, that that hits. hits right. uh, he's off the map technically. Uh, I just don't have enough map. <clears throat> uh, roll the damage, please. Uh, Thirteen. Ugh. All right. I'm just gonna like start marking on him how. Uh, much of the map he is, so that you guys can figure out the distance. <clears throat> um, I don't think he's escaping, but whatever. Uh, what was that? Uh, that was Arlis, they did that. Uh, Zardas, it's your turn. Right, we can't see the uh, little guy, uh, though, right? No, well... I guess you can. Yeah, you can, you can. Is just and about how far away does he look? Uh, he is uh, 65 feet away. Oh, okay, that's good. Still in range, so I will clap my hands together and as I pull them apart, summon a bunch of spectral skulls Ooh. and attack with. Alright. Uh, why do you have it as level 5? It's not level 5. I'm casting oh, okay. at level 5. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> I'll go ahead, troll. There's what? Uh, that's not right. Uh, how many? No, wrong five. Hang on. Six, seven, nine, right? Four. Six. Seven. And is it? All right, so out of this, um, uh, 27 hits, and that's plus 3 hit points to you. Uh, obviously 29 hits, it's 4 points for you. Uh, 21 hits, 1 point for you. Uh, 22 hits, 2 points for you. Uh, and another 21 hits, uh, 2 points for you. I mean, you definitely hit him, but he is not dead. Yeah. Uh... And that's pretty much it at the moment. Then in the turn, the big guy is gonna once again try to kill Trega. Uh, no, that's only 23 to hit. Only 23 to hit. Good. <laughs> uh, all right, uh, Milora, it is your turn. Uh, on the other side of the wall, uh, you don't see the big dragon, but you see the small one flying away. 
Can I try to earthbind him again, please? If you earthbind him, you will lose concentration. Oh, that's right. Yeah, thank you. I forgot. Earthbind but you can certainly try. I mean, nothing is stopping you from casting <laughs> earthbind. I, I like that idea very much. I'm sure you do. <laughs> yes, it's a wonderful idea. From my point of view. The Jedi are evil! In How hurt does the view. little one look? How hurt does the um, little one look? He's bleeding. Uh, oh, I don't know if I'm gonna kill him or not, so I'm hoping I don't. Uh, I'm gonna lightning bolt. Very impressed. I wanna save. In either case. I wanna <laughs> save my. I'll do it at level 5. I have a lot oh, of level 5s no. left. My lord is a murderer of dragons. <laughs> Alright, that's the save for me. Probably not, uh, but... Oh boy. Uh, that's a failure for him. Whoa! Look but at that he roll! He has a lot of legend resistances, so I'm gonna Holy burn one of them. Holy shit, that roll. Uh, that's 53... That's where all the good rolls went. Half... 25... 26. Uh, he's still flying. I mean, Melod is cheating. She has like an extra plus five in there. So that's like an extra two die, True. basically. But yeah, that's that's definitely above average on every single die. That's highly above average on most of them. <laughs> I mean... Yeah. That's probably the highest roll. I'm not gonna... On Lightning Bolt she has cast. I'm not gonna say that that's a hint. But there's a hint. <laughs> uh, anything else you want to do? No, there's nothing else I can do. Oh, wait. Uh, in that case, uh, go to uh, Deus, who is feeling naked and alone. Well, not so much naked um, as alone. So, uh, first of all, I need to know if I can breathe. Please don't. No. Um, well, uh, he's in my flying range if I have a, a flying speed. Oh, he's definitely within 80 feet of you, yeah. The small yeah. one? Well, I'm gonna give him a flying headbutt from behind. I um, uh, I, why don't I? Okay, here we go. 33 to hit. Ah, so close. Yes, it hits. Clearly. <laughs> uh, 23 points of uh, piercing damage from the okay. BT. Um, then I'm gonna uh, double slay off. Okay. 21 to okay. hit. Just roll both of them first. That's two. Oh, I mean, just should. so that you can repeat the roll, basically. Um, 19 it's... to hit. Oh, that's cool. Not all damage. Um, so that's 2d6 plus 8. One, 17. All right. And 11. Uh, he is still hanging. Barely. Like, I tore him a new one. Yeah, make your next damaging attacks non-lethal. <laughs> uh, I will tell him... Um, uh, while I do that, I will say, surrender and you will live. All right. Uh, it is a big boy's turn who hears that and shouts, never. And attempts to eat Trigon. Misses. Misses and hits. <laughs> for how much? Uh, for 22. No, uh, the, the roll to hit. 30, yeah, I can't. Wait, no, no, I can't. Even with a plus 3, it's, uh, it's 30. It's still a hit. Yeah. All right. So 13 damage. 22. 20, sorry. I wish more of my attacks hit. I wish I rolled above 10! <laughs> 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 High five! 
Yeah, ask Lucas how I roll in my monk in his campaign. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Like yeah. Zardo. He's like giving me all the best toys, like magical swords. I'm like, no, 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 no. All right. And that was a big boy. Uh, the small one. Uh, I'm gonna do something for him. The small one looks at his brother and goes, Yes! Never! And attempts to kill Leos because he knows he's not getting away. Uh, 28 bite. Uh, 60 yep. points of damage. Ah, shit, I can't. Uh, I need to move my token <laughs> down. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, again? 16? Yes, 16 points of damage. Oh. I understood 16. No, 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 like no. That would be really cool. Uh, and now here you're gonna regret you don't have a desk cleric because it's an actual 20 on his claw. Yeah. But again, I'm just gonna roll, roll two or something. Four uh, ones, Not please. quite. Uh, 19 total on the crit. Uh-huh. And his last claw is a miss with a 16. So no fun here. Yep. Uh, bum, 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 bum. And Trigger, it is your turn again. Uh, make me a dexterity saving throw. Alright, I need to get out of this yeah. shit. I think, like, what he does... Uh, his gives you, like, plus two 12. or something, but it's still not enough. Uh... Yeah. Do I get advantage on this? Oh, it doesn't give it advantage. To haste. I don't remember. Uh, I don't think so. It's either plus two or advantage. Was... advantage. Advantage. It's yes, plus two. Yes, it has advantage. Yes, you do make. Uh, which means you take only half nice. damage, which means you don't take it because of your shield. Uh, it doesn't take like an action or reaction to do your shield no damage, or does it? Your uh, shield master. Uh no wait let me she let me she let me see uh shieldmaster uh yeah you need to take reaction you need to do you need to would you like to reaction. depose a shield I mean I need it when he tries to escape so no right. I'll take the damage where is he gonna run uh, look let the man take his damage <laughs> you take eight points of damage. I'm like, let your GM give his damage. It's only eight points of damage. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move out. Uh, yes, here. like as you tear uh, through it, it's basically like, for each feet of movement, you spend four feet of movement, so it takes you twenty feet to get out of the wall. Get out of here! Okay. Get to the chop. Get to the dragon. That's okay. <laughs> if you wanna leave. <laughs> um. Bonus action, gonna try and make him prone, but I'm gonna do uh, it with uh, uh, sweep the leg. So DC 19 dexterity. Nice. Uh, nope. No, he succeeds. he succeeds. Nope, he fails. Yeah, he succeeds. Okay. Uh, and then three attacks. That yep. sucks. It sucks very much. Yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> I confirm. Uh, <laughs> uh, that doesn't suck, suck as much. That's, okay. that's, that's, that's acceptable. That's like above thirty, which is like barely below average for, above average for you. And that's another crit. Ooh, Ooh, that's soul. might. <laughs> no. Wait, no, he might die. Uh. Shit. I'm not Do letting I... you make a smite attack um, on Lito. I'm letting you have your divine smite be on lethal. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. But not a. Yeah, I know. Smite, smite attacks are always lethal. That's why I'm trying to think if. Well. Do I smite or not? Well, we're waiting. Uh, how hard does you? Very. <laughs> yes, Very but you know, like, I could say like he has ten percent of hit points left, which could be more than a hundred. <laughs> you don't know. Trigger did like 700 damage in a round. I calculated. You... I'm gonna. I'm. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna smash. Right. Is it your final decision? And 
I'm not. Yes, yes. I'm not going to smite it. I'm going to make it non-lethal if right. it's possible. Well, how would you like to non-lethally subdue him? Yes. Um, the first one misses, uh, yes. right? And then, so thrust, thrust in a hit, and then smack with the spear. Yeah, that's about right. And seemingly among the blood loss and the shock of, you know, like just a pain shock from the sitting uh, like spear of light that you threw at him. That's just enough to get him over the range and he collapses on the rooftop unconscious. Whew. Okay. Um, that's my bonus section. Yes, Those are my actions. Down. That's 20 feet of movement. I have a little bit more movement. Can I go around the wall? The... Huh? Is the roof big enough to go around the wall? Uh, no. And like, the like, roof there's... ends basically over here. So... But uh, so I can't uh, go like this, no. right? Like, like the wines went from the ground the and around the roof and onto the roof. No. Okay. Actually, uh... see. I mean, I could just go through nope. here because I have sixty feet of movement with uh, with you eggs. Do? I mean, if you want to go through it, go for it. Yeah, I don't need my reaction now, so if I make uh, it... Yeah, yeah so I'll, go next to I'll go next. I'll go next. Yes. Come on, advantage. Come on, and slam. And we'll come to the jam. Okay, 24. Uh, that's another 8 points of piercing damage to you as it as you Kool-Aid man it to the other side of the wall. And now you just see, like, Trigger, yeah, I'm just gonna... and there are, like, two thorns sticking out of, like, the... Only like open spaces on his armor, like one sword in one eye and another sword in another eye. No, but, but I said I am gonna use. The oh, you will. Okay. Now I don't need then it. Then only one sword oh, yeah, in one I eye. Already. Uh, I'm gonna move close All to Melora. Right. Uh, okay. He's he's down. I think we got him. Now we just need that one, and I point towards the small one. Right. Uh, well. Uh, what do you know? It is a uh, top of initiative. Um, yum, 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 yum. And Argus, it is your turn. Beautiful. Um, first, I am flying on over for uh -huh. some beautiful uh -huh. 40 feet. Uh -huh. And as I am flying closer, I am going to like touch my Pokeball to him again um, <laughs> to see if he will go into it directly this time. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you do that and you just lost. And then there's a Pokeball. Ooh, you touch his Pokeball. And um, I am, since all my spells are now a bonus action, I am going to... Yeah, I'm going to heighten versus the first boy. Uh, you um, as he uh, is need to go higher hmm? up. You need to go like above the wall hmm? if you want to see him. Yeah, yeah, sure. I'll fly up. I don't mind. I'll just, I'll fly up. I have plenty of right. movement. Um, and toss an earthbind his direction at disadvantage. Please tell me is natural. I right? will most certainly do that. It's a strength, right? Yep, strength save DC. 20. I wish I had advantage, but I don't, so it's an eight. An eight? Nah, there is no way he has plus 12. You never right? know. So I'm gonna leave it be. I'm gonna leave I it mean, be. I might have just given him plus 12 because I hate you very much. I mean, I mean, you know how uh, often possible, I just like but... cheat and. Why yes, you? yes, I do know that part, yes. So um, I think he's gonna burn a save. Um, uh, yeah, he will. And that's gonna be the end of my turn. So I was like here. I can go to like. Yeah. I'll just fly up, like, since I'm going sideways. Uh, by anyway, the way, like, your up. third flask is in the back of Holland, right? Um. I think you said you put them in the bag of holding. Sure, so... sure. It's in the bag of holding for now. I'll, I'll get it out next turn in that case. Uh, all right. Does stowing, stowing things also cost? Them? No, I don't think so. I'm, I'm pretty sure it takes an action to take out, no? but I don't think it takes an action. 
In that case, I'll just drop mm. my yeah, second Pokeball on into the bag. All right. Um. Oh, can I do something for flavor on sure. that turn? Actually, as I'm like grasping for that guy, I'm gonna shout over to him. See what's happened to your brother. All right. Uh, enraged by uh, the happenstance and uh, so on and so forth, he's gonna use a legendary action uh, to uh, try and get Leos to the ground again. So he's gonna flap his wings. Uh, Leos, make me please another dexterity saving throw. Or not another, just one. Yeah. You make it. Planet yeah, you're, you're good. <laughs> nice. Uh, I mean, I'm sure if you're good, but you made it. <laughs> uh, Zadus, it's <laughs> your turn. Now, from your position, right, you see nothing. Oh, wait, did I say you saw it last no. time? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. I, I guess there is. Might be a little bit of. So he's still, what, 60 uh, feet away? 65. He doesn't look very well, but... Yeah. Actually... It says I can't use it until the next noon. Right? What? The solo flare. I have no idea what it says, I don't remember. Did you cheat me? Yes. So I get back in like an hour. <laughs> uh, it's, it's just the bottom of the message. Used again again next noon. Hmm, okay. And there's no shadow up there where they are. Is it? Uh, only the ones you see on the ground. Uh, I go fix. Wait, you can't. Yeah, I don't think it's a decision dexterity solving throw. I think it's a saving throw. <laughs> oh yeah, I can't uh, fix that. And that's why. You need editors. Uh, I'm just gonna shoot him then. This can't really do much. I don't wanna lose the spell slot. Uh, Lenbo, uh, 21 hits as you put an arrow in his side, and then, with your second arrow, <laughs> into the eye, as a young dragon collapses to the ground, 50 feet below, dead. At least the Pokémons get XP, I mean... I turn around in dragon form and do this. <laughs> but it was tougher. What? No. Zardos killed him no. with an arrow. Wait, this no. is an achievement. <laughs> this is an achievement. No, our boy. Why did you have to hit something now? You never <laughs> do this. With an arrow. Why now? You could have done it earlier. God damn it. Can't you do anything right, Zardos? <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> fucking vampires. With this, one of the dragons that have, well, I guess, ambushed you here in the courtyard is captured, and the other one is most certainly dead. Uh, I... Revivify, revivify. 
I will run over to the body and trick you. Yeah. Do you want me to? <laughs> you can reincarnate a dragon. Yeah, before you bring him back, let me. Uh, do Do you, you want, want me? If so, speak now. I let him eat. I think. Can yeah. you turn yeah. him into a, a, a undead dragon in bring our him control? Over here, where he's not inside. If he becomes strong, can you like carry him to a place where he's not inside? Take him. I will. Oh. Grab I'm... the body and uh, fly him back to the. Uh, uh, to the keep. Drag, not fly. Uh, yes, you are out of combat. He is as big and heavy as you are. So. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Isn't this like a human carrying a human? Shouldn't that Yeah. Oh, make me an aesthetics check as a dragon. Uh, Ancient dragon sure. carrying uh, Let one. me check what hey, bonus I have. Still. You drop him right where. Uh, oh, it's just. Uh, he's it's actually it's heavier than. Uh, uh, Leos, because Leos, not Leos, yeah, Leos is... The brass dragons are pretty slight. Ah, sure, okay, with 26, yeah, you... Like, you can't full speed fly, but you, yeah, half speed fly him into a shadow of the castle walls, I guess. Uh, yeah. as definitely the defense of Kerlunk isn't going as well as the dragons have hoped. Uh... I will ask the others, as we are sort of probably gathering around his corpse. Um, do you want me to get rid of evidence? Yeah, one second. Oh. Uh, yeah, fuck, why am I dragon right now? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't even need to bite, you can just like, scoop your hands under his eye socket and just like, fill it up with blood and... Or, 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 or you just like, go like, from the farm and like, ah. <laughs> yeah. I'm still um, gonna cast heal on Leos in his dragon form. Heal? Okay. Yeah, I have, have it prepared. Oh, nice. Would would this uh, spell heal Zardos as well if I choose to? Oh, which one? Uh, this. Oh, uh, that one. Yes, you asked me already. That says... one. Yes. If the spell in the description yes, okay. doesn't specifically says that it doesn't work on undead, then it works. Because most other spells, including a pretty sure heal, says this spell doesn't work on undead and constructs. Yeah. And, uh, okay, so yeah, let's maybe freshen up a well, bit. Alright, are you really fighting the dragon? Yeah. That's the big question I have for you. And let me switch music. I think we've already passed. Uh, passed I mean, um, you'll have at least one attempt, but only one, basically. Well, you have only one in any case. Call it now. You call it. Arliss, don't, don't. Later. There will be more. There will don't. be more. Oh, there will be more. Yeah, so I'm not. So I'm not. <laughs> um, he did. A question out of character. Um, would this count? As, this. This doesn't count as as a charge for the bow for for the bow, right? Killing. Uh, this. it's not undead. You cannot I harvest it. To... And I wouldn't say mm. this okay. counts. At this point, this doesn't count as a heroic event for yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess that's much. Like, if you killed him alone, okay. yeah, you could argue, but not with friends. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, fair enough. Um, you, should I get rid of this one? It's expensive, but I can just disintegrate his corpse, and uh, they won't know that this one died. I think. That's one way to yeah, get rid of the oh, evidence. It, but, um... uh, okay, now actually, this is a stupid fucking question because, like, when something is considered a creature, then it auto disintegrates entirely if I hit it. And now it's, it's an only object, part of only it. Yeah. Yeah. By... Yeah. We so could... this is fucking retarded, so I can't do No, don't, it. don't, don't do it. Let's just hide it in other means, I guess. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, let's just uh, let's. Also, let's... dragon parts are very valuable. <laughs> Not that we're gonna need it. <laughs> let's. Um, yeah, fuck it. Move quickly. I mean, I, I mean, what's the point? Uh, yeah. By move quickly, you mean? Then get to Albert now, and see. Uh, I don't think this should be too bad, but um, I presume. Quite a few more are going to be flying this way or away from the city soon. So, okay. Uh, so yeah. if we're not resting, I'm going to cast this and heal uh, heal us while we're going. You know what uh, I found very curious? 
They didn't breathe on us once, they didn't even try. It's like after the first guy failed, they knew too. Do you think they're connected telepathically? That's what I'm wondering, because usually that's what dragons go to first, right? Ah, uh, maybe it's... maybe... It, 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 okay, so she, she was 347 years alone. So maybe it was just that with that amount of inbreeding, they're just not capable of doing that anymore. <laughs> okay. Yeah, but we also have to look at the worst case scenario. I if, mean, that, the, if that's the case, then they know of, of our abilities now. If that's the case, then they also know one is dead and two are somewhat missing. Well, well they only have seen that there is a huge fucking dragon. I don't... I yeah. wouldn't consider that that they would know everything that we have got. I hope so. And it might be good, because we have captured two of them. <laughs> we already so... have two tokens, yes. Next fight, we need to knock one out and capture the other one. And then we have the one to send off. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and, and I, I bet I... might know where the other ones are in the city. It should um, be at least one of the size of Last thing you know, yeah, there's gonna be one more big and two smaller ones. At least that's the last information yeah. that Eric Adar gave you. And I'm not sure if it was bad luck. Well, I guess it was good luck the three of them were in the castle. Uh, not from this, well, you from we're speed to heal you need to bite and place. you can't so bite a corpse. Yeah. So this is just you filling up your thirst, getting the thing that I assume you drank this for. And as you drink his blood... An <laughs> erection? Huh? As you drink his blood, it's... It's exhilarating. It's... Just feel power surge through you as you do so. Dragon blood is... The only thing that compares to this was Melora's blood. Like, this is... This is the next best thing to Melora. Not quite as good as Melora, but... It's not... Zardos, did you heal up for 30, uh... How much was it? 34? Yes. Okay. You can't see it, if barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I figured. Uh... Uh, Let's get over there. All right. Yes. Yeah. Um, get on my back. I will fly. So let me move you away from there. You don't need this map anymore. Uh, all right. So um, yeah, you all can like get on top of um, Leo's dragon, and as you fly by uh, Trigger, you heal up yourself and Zardos with the revitalizing auras that you are so capable of. And, I mean, you don't fly for long, uh, because, like, as you move through the territory of the castle, which, while big, is not that big, uh, you hear the, you know, like, that... Kind of, like, chaotically rhythmic... In the back of the bag, by the way. Oh, yeah, sure, you're back in the bag. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Somebody shoot... I should turn somebody into a like were creature, make it a were tiger, and have you put them into the bag, and then you can get him out of the bag, and the cat will be out of the bag. <laughs> yeah, yeah, send my, send my, uh, yeah, next time oh. the world were tiger. Uh, all right. The next so character. you hear that like distant, you know, like that of like people in armor moving. As you come across a uh, like 50 people unit of heavily armored knights, kind of like jogging in the direction where you just had fight and you fought so quickly they just didn't make it there in time because they can't move as quickly as you can. But at the front of them is uh, two figures that you recognize very easily. One of them is the like black armor of Lord Edge. Uh, with his great sword, and the second one is the armor you saw in Albert's uh, office. So you assume Albert is inside of it. 
but he is a smart boy, so he is wearing a helmet, so you can't quite confirm this is not World of Warcraft. <laughs> Uh, so I don't see yeah. the name for but the seeing uh, you like at, at the first like the people can like like dash aside like spreading into like a more defensible position so that you don't like kill them with one breath and like orders start being sent but then you like see Albert like raise his hand like call out Is that you what's up. I guess you land, I assume. Fashionably late. Yeah, I, uh, sorry, yeah, I, I will land in front he of He and Lord Edge walk up to you while the other soldiers can, like, spread and uh, go check out the corpse, some of them. <laughs> Albert and Lord Edge approach. That's, that's a new one. We didn't recognize that. Dragon, did you bring a friend? That's, uh, that's Leos. Leos. Oh. Mm -hmm. What's up? Training was well, well used. <laughs> I presume we're late. Yes, but we don't have time. We were told there were two big ones. Yes. And a couple of these smaller ones, like the dead one. Yes, over there. so they're quite... Do you know where the other big one lived? <sighs> or stays? One of them was usually hanging around the castle. There is a one who would patrol the city, fly around. Yeah, that one, is, the one that's in that was patrolling the castle is gone. Mm. We got that one. But the one oh, in the teleport yeah. castle is gone too. So you have removed half oh. of them, almost half of them. Yes. I would have a suggestion. I could fly atop of the castle, spew a bit of fire now and again. That should point them in a direction. We could lower Alternatively, them here. I think they're gonna come. We could wait, lay an ambush. It's very likely that they will return to the castle to report. To their gun siblings. The one that was staying in the castle was the leader sure. of this um, detachment. Yeah, we can hide on the highest tower. And. Uh... Hear one or multiple of them coming. That should work. Yeah. You think they did notice the fight? Well, we heard it, but. Kreuzung is big. Kreuzung is big. I do not know. Let's let's head for the tower immediately. Le uh, Leos, can you transform and let's uh, head for the tower as fast as we can? Um, I mean, I can literally fly us, or yeah, most of us Yeah, but that's much there. more visible, right? Then if we land sure. on the highest tower, then I can climb up with the cloak. Yeah, Laura but... I can fly up and you can get on Nidala and we can... Uh, wait okay, sure, but um, maybe you can cast invisibility on me because um, me turning back in combat takes too long. Don't they have blindsight? It's just for flying up there, I think he means. Oh, okay. No, 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 no. I mean, for I mean, I want to wait there in my dragon form. It's it's impossible for I, I take too long if I have to transform. Yeah, what works for me? Um, I mean, Zardos is the one who has to transform uh, or keep you invisible. Is there enough space on the top of that tower for that? For. For a fucking ancient you dragon. Just dragon. Uh, it depends on which tower you want to go. If you want to go on the towers, it's on top of the barracks. Yes, well, that will be the only tower that is big enough because it's more like a keep tower. It's flat. The other towers are mostly either small or no. Found it. So that mm. would be the only one. Okay, it's yeah, it's I also. Think we'll have to go on top of that. I mean, it's not the tallest, but it's tall enough. Yes. I can call it like that. Okay, let's do that. Let's go there immediately. Albert, no. in the meantime, if you could try and secure the castle, see that nothing of this or as little as possible gets out. We need one or two more dragons alive. At least one. Possible two. We're capturing them. And I'm like gonna hold up a jug. This one here contains a big fucking dragon. And this one here does too. 
and we're gonna capture more of them as tokens. I will uh, lay on hands on Melora. Because <laughs> it's, a, it's the right that. time to do it. Um, oh, yeah. <laughs> but Melora, yes. I'm just going to use everything right now because I'm scared we don't have an hour to rest. So uh, let's say 50 for Melora, 10 for Leos. Uh, lay on hands. What else? What else? Oh, yes. I wanted to cast this on both of you. I cast Death Ward on Arliss and Death Ward on. Uh, wait, is Leos in dragon form now? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so on Death Ward on Leos' dragon form. And to help with healing, I'm going to cast Mass Cure Wounds. Uh, level 5. Plus 17. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then we will lie in ambush atop the tower, I guess. And attempt to take a short rest? Attempt to, yeah. See what happens. Attempt is the right word. See if they are going to be rushing our way or not. All right. If they saw the fight turn. Yeah. Um, as you like do all of that and uh, you move, uh, you hear Lord Edge and Albert talking. Lord Edge going. <clears throat> I shall join them and assist them in their ambush. But you, Your Majesty, you must retreat to the safety of the castle with others. We cannot afford to lose you here. And. With the situation, I think we can handle it without you. Albert goes. Lord Edge. Um, I cannot, in true faith, allow them to fight alone any longer. Edge goes. And we cannot afford to lose you. Uh, how, how about would, both of you stay down here? I would prefer to have you protecting the king, just in case someone yes. sneaks through. I'd much prefer that. This battle is gonna mostly be aerial, and we do not have much space on the aerial things we fly on. So, um, I would prefer it if you looked after the king personally. I don't Your think preference is noted. Uh, I mean, it's your choice. You, you, can hop on my, power. you can hop on my back, and um, as long as I'm uh, in dragon form, but I might get slapped out of it, and then you will fall. A lot, a long time, hard, probably. If I'm do not worry here. about me. I may not be as strong as you, but I am powerful. Okay, then uh, you're free to get on my back. Does it? Let's go and wait on the tower. All right. So, um, blah, 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 blah. some people are invisible. You filled up. Uh, did you end up doing invisibility? I kind of missed it while I was checking stuff. Uh, yeah, that's that's really the question. So, um, I think so we should. Yeah, I did, a long I, rest. It's not gonna last. Short rest. But it's, uh, it's for a short rest. That should be enough, right? That's good. Yeah, it's one hour. Oh, okay. I thought it was ten minutes. No, that's no, like no, ten minutes. Uh, yeah, greater invisibility yeah. would be one minute. So, um, I think it's worth worth the uh, um, worth it because it might uh, if they don't fly within blind sight range of the tower they they s might simply not see me and if they fly that close i think the fight will have already started yeah. i mean i plan on using my fucking earthbind way before they get into that range so yeah, yeah. let's hide and try to arrive <laughs> as much as we can Oh, uh, Dan, what hour is it? <laughs> uh, oh, Every minute no, counts. your fight was like a couple seconds. It's still not even 11. It's not even 11 yet, okay. No. Like maybe after short rest, it will be noon, but you're not sure if you will get there. Okay.
All right, um, let's take another short break here while I prepare a few things. Mm-hmm.
We're back. All right. Yeah. So you head for the tower. Uh, was there invisibility in the end? I'm not sure you. Yeah. All right. Yes. With you kind of like hanging be there because the dragon you're flying on is invisible and you guys are not. <laughs> As he carries you all to the top of the uh, barracks tower, which is frankly barely enough for him to move around, but uh, I mean, he has wings, so that's not a problem, and the rest of you guys will manage. Uh, whereupon, uh, Leos, do you remain in dragon form for now? I think you said you wanted to remain in dragon form. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, well, what's. I mean, it's um, very likely that you will would... see them approaching, kind of as they're invisible. So yeah, then then I would then I would stay in uh, humanoid form to to give everyone right. a bit of space until we see them approach, and then I would give I mean, a quick warning that I can, change back. We can like um, cast invis, and then you can change back. It won't break your form. Yeah, you know? so that would be a good option too. Yeah. So I will stay in humanoid right. form for as long as we attempt right. to rest. Yeah. You settle down on top of the tower and continue tending to your wounds with whatever, like, healing or otherwise recovery spells you've just casted. Um, anything else you would like to do or start doing while you're interrupt here? Short rest. <laughs> yes, short rest. And I am going to be, like, I... Uh, um... I think, uh, how many potions do we have of that? There's like, uh, yeah, I'll just like get out um, two small healing potions from the bag of holding and like have them in my hand. So if I see them flying closer, I'm going to like shot those two before combat starts. If we can't short dress in time. Uh -huh. Otherwise, I'll be dropping them back in the bag. Um... Right. Um, anything else? Any conversations? Any planning? Any last words? I am gonna say to everyone: uh, Is Lord Edge yeah, here? Yeah, he's sitting now? demurely. Okay, then I am going to tell him that, uh, like I said, we we want to beat them unconscious. We do not want to kill them. If they look very weak, don't strike any killing blows. Try to like uh, hit them with the flat side between the eyes. I think that worked for Trago so far, because we need them unconscious. Just so you know why we need, and one more of these. And I'm like gonna show him again the flask. We because we need some setup time, and we need to separate the mother from her two biggest children. And for that, we're going to have to have our talking for a while. And that's what we are using these for. We will use them as basically insurances for our lives for a while. And we need a force dragon to, you know, to send the message that uh, he actually saw us capturing other dragons this way. So, so one also, will be taking hostages to the forest. Yeah. To already another one planned. And as a part of your plan, I need to know. Stay close to me in combat, if you can keep up. I thought I'm staying close to him. He's pointing at Leos. I think it'll be the same, but yeah. It's the same, yeah. See you yourself. It should be fine. Apart from that. Or well, then. A kill, a capture, hmm? these dragons. As soon as we have the two unconscious, we can kill the rest. We don't need what to. What if three come? Need to... okay. Wait, we have. We, we have three flasks, right? Yeah, but two are full. So we need just one more dragon. 
one more dragon and one more to send off towards Mama. Oh, right, right, right. Okay. Every other one we kill, but preferably we kill after we've knocked others unconscious. So they don't see us killing. That would be best case scenario, but doesn't matter too much. That's just uh, like the dot on top of the eye. Well, let's hope they don't notice the corpse you already left. Yeah, Zardos. He's in the bag, he can't hear you. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, all right. Suppose this is as good as any. We're lucky it's not. Yeah. Should be fine, should be fine. All right. So you begin taking your protest. Or at least you try to do so. Uh, mm -hmm. As. Time passes slowly, and you watch the horizon worryingly, looking out for the dragons. Now, here's the thing. Kreuzung is oh, shit. big, but it's not that big. And the castle is, by all intents and purposes, is if not the highest part of the city, is definitely not the lowest. You did fight somewhat in the sky. The ability should have been pretty good. The way what Lady Kazar has said is true, and dragons are staying in here and patrolling the city. There is indeed a big chance that they have seen what you are doing. What was the question? They aren't here yet because they ran away. Can I interrupt this? Can I answer? So, can I answer? Check Lord Edge. <laughs> can I like? Uh, I'm just gonna turn to like uh, Leos and say, in like, I'm just gonna like, so that I have a line. Yeah. By the way, he is face. in his armor and helmet. And yeah, yeah. if you remember, uh, he hmm. looks. Uh, well, you remember how he looks like? It's like a death, the black skull helmet. What age? <laughs> and I'm just like I'm just I'm just gonna be like um, in draconic. So anyone thinking what I'm thinking? Why do you think I'm sitting right next to him? I'm just I would like to judge if he reacts. Sure, at make all, me an check. If he like, does he smell like a dragon? <laughs> make me perception check. I mean, uh, fuck. Yeah, mm -hmm. all this is in Draconic, but does a 22 get me anywhere? We'll find out. Four. All right. Uh, as you start speaking in Draconic, you definitely, like, notice, like, his attention draw to you, but as far as you can tell, it's not like, oh, fuck, they figured me out. It's more like, that's strange. And no, Leos, he does not smell like a dragon. Smells like a man in armor, which is not very nice, but it's nicer than dragons. Hey. I will say in Draconic. Hello. We should kill him. And I want to see if that causes a reaction. He's a shapeshifter, I can smell it. Did you say I we want... should kill him or what? Yeah, I, I want to say. We should. Uh, he's he's a dragon. I can smell it on him. Kill him. 
Oh, I'm gonna start blasting if you say that to me, honestly. Mm, yeah. I will also say is uh All right. I will I would uh, like to say, uh, see if there's a reaction. Well, let's do it like this. Let's roll initiative. This is the bad guy in the end. Duh! Yeah, this is this the, didn't come over as I intended to. Well, um, I mean, if you tell us you can smell it as a dragon, I'm like, oh yeah, he knows what he's talking about. Yeah, That's didn't. Uh... But we do want the short rest. So can I hold an action while short resting? <laughs> well, ah, oh, good one. That's very that's very important here. Sardis is missed anyway. He can't do shit. All right. Hear me. Oh, yes. All right. So, Leos has smelt the dragon upon Lord Edge. And thus he said to others that you should kill him. But what happens with that? We'll find out next session. <laughs>